Okay, and we're back. We're going to go with part two, and we're going to dive right in it. So, we got Pharaoh Man. Make sure we got it. We do. No shenanigans. Uh, Pharaoh Man. So, Pharaoh Man is 719 Fire Life Order. Uh, stack ability of checks your opponents make during attacks. Gets minus one, and he also has enhance. Your opponent makes a check against a difficulty of five. If it fails, this attack gets plus two damage. So he's going to be annoying. He's just going to be flat out annoying to most people. Yeah. I like this character because I think of all of the characters, he most successfully has the idea of cards that uh, just you take his entire support and then you pick a symbol and add in a few choice cards from that symbol. Uh, and you can make a character around him that works really well. Like, all of his support works perfectly together. Yeah, and on top of that, he, even though he doesn't have onboard defense, um, he's still very valid. He can possibly kill you one or two attack, uh, two or three turns because of the amount of checks that you're forcing your opponent to make so early on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to force them into really bad positions where they're going to be checking those attacks that they're going to need later on. Uh, personally, I am building him off of life because he gets Morgan support, which further enhances the ability to hack checks, and just some other stuff to let you go through the deck a little bit quicker. For me, I, uh, anytime I look at the life symbol, just in general, I immediately go, um, well, life's best quality as a symbol is that you get both Templar and Revoke. Um, so that's that's the biggest factor for me when I'm looking at life right now. Um, I... I think he might be good. I haven't messed around with him enough. He's like the character that I've kind of like, um, kind of said, all right, Mark, you don't get to build this until this actual set comes out because I don't want to do a whole bunch of proxies and go through your know, coloring cartridges and all that stuff to get them kind of tested. Um, so I'm just going to wait till he comes out and give him a real shot. Um, on paper, I think he looks solid. Um, I'm a little leery about. Um, I I don't. I, I, I don't know if he's, I, outside of uh, sharing a symbol with Templar, I don't know how great he's going to be defensively. But um, if, if you can burn the, burn your opponent down before they get set up, I, I can see it being really nasty. Yeah. I like this guy. He's solid. Like, he's a solid, like, the seven hand sizers in this set, like, have just that, he's the one seven hand sizer that has that built-in kind of def I don't want to say a defense, but it's more of like he, he just has that offensive defense thing going where you're like, you, you're just minus 10, you're minus a little bit more every time. And he can just, his, all his, his cards work so well with him. Like, he's definitely the, if you're going to play this guy, you're probably going to play most of his support with him. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, he has an ongoing negative one every time it's your opponent's time to attack. So. Also, he is hilariously good against Vincent Gray. Oh, yeah. He is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. It's great how much... Death to the president. That's depressing if you're Vincent Gray. Now, Curry. here's my outlook on him. Because I'm a huge advocate of Pharaoh Man, but in all honesty, I don't see him as good in singles play. I see him better in a teens format. Because that. you can be that mid-range oddball where your two opponents could probably get it for you, and then you're sitting there as that coin flip. So you're either going to add to the victory, or you're going to bait out and give that opponent that one win and see how your teammates are going to do. He's really a 50-50 shot character. But mm -hmm. I think he's better in a team format than he is a singles format. I just say reprint Vincent, just so you can see these two go at it. They got three months. All right, move on. Uh, we got Egyptian Pyramid. Uh, three for five, plus two high block. It's terrain. While this card is in your staging area, checks to play non-attack cards get minus one. Dip or get minus one. Enhance your opponent makes the control check against difficulty difficulty of four. If it fails, this attack gets minus two damage. I think this is super good. Um, I I think this is if you're the one thing that we've kind of hinted at with Pharaoh Man is that he kind of lacks some defense, um, and I think this is the defense. Um, 
the static on it on top of his own ability means that they're going to, if they're checking against a four and they check a five, they've still got to commit one to not have the attack get minus two damage. Um, and it's a free E, so there's no E cost of any kind. It's just free E. All right. You know, they make a check. If it fails, attack it's minus two. Um, I, I think this is super good, and I think if you're going to play Feral Man, this is the equivalent of how Iori's guitar was with the 720 Iori. You just want to make sure you have it so you don't get just slaughtered. If if this if you go turn one, stick this card on the board, playing Feral Man, uh, like playing anybody on those symbols, like it just, this card is heavily, if you go first and you stick this card, you crush a tr your, the player going second's build. It can. Um, the, the benefit, and this is where it's, it's better in Feralman, obviously, than everyone else, is that um, that minus one means that if they check a five, it's still cool. Um, if, if they check an attack, obviously, or something like that, or a four check, it's not as cool. Um, Feralman makes sure that they have to commit one, essentially, to get the minus, to, to stop yeah. the minus two. What's I think it's the super good in Feralman, though. What's the name of that old promo? The freaking Egyptian cat? Bassett. Bassett, yeah. Bassett. This card was Bassett for three months? Just to make <laughs> it healthy? Why not? It fits the Egyptian theme even more. <laughs> Clearly Plus one done nickel to all cards, minus one nickel two, non-attacks. Non Good luck. Clearly they just looked at Bassett and they're like, this is what Pharaoh Man's going to do, but in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be the best three months of Pharaoh Man's life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Summer school. Uh, first up, we got Pharaoh Shot. Four difficulty, three, three high for five, desperation three, ranged, enhanced. Your opponent makes a check against a difficulty of six. If it fails, this attack gets plus two speed, and your next attack gets plus two speed. Uh, it's got good numbers. Uh, it's once again with Pharaoh Man. If you have both Pharaoh Man and E. Egyptian, and Egyptian Pyramid out. Uh, this is a great utility card. I wish it had a block, but it's good for what it is. He spits hot fire. Yeah. I love this card. I think Got your numbers. Yes. Yeah. It'll go in a fire aggro deck. It, it's another one of those cards so I'm like, gee, I wonder it's a good thing that Hoytzil has gone. <laughs> fire Hoytzil would be a thing. I mean, even if you're not, and this is this is where I rank this card fairly high too. Even if you're not Pharaoh Man, if you're someone else, it, it basically says e your opponent makes a, if it says you know, makes a check against a six. Odds are they're going to check a, either a three or a five. That's what most decks are going to do. So they're either committing three foundations to negate the speed pump or one to commit the speed pump. So it's like half ass stun too. It's like well, yeah, I remember uh, they his act his minus one is is in effect when you make that check. So it's actually like. They took a five, they're committing two. Yeah, that's if you're Pharaoh Man. Yeah. I mean, just if you're not Pharaoh Man, like, look at it. Oh. I rated this card higher because I think it's got use outside of Pharaoh Man. Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think other people are going to get use out of this card. The Desperation 3 is, like, sneaky amazing on it. Um, it is. That's a really good card. I, I like it a lot. I think it's a potentially a 5-5-5 five, five, five on a 4. That's that's cool. I, I wish it had a yeah. block, but I wish everything had a block. So that's cool with me. Can't have your entire deck be blocked. <laughs> that's right. That's your, like, four or five years ago. <laughs> Jesse, I I like this card. It's solid. It's gonna see play. Good for anybody who plays it. I will be very painful to play through. All right, moving on. Uh, Pharaoh Slam. No, we don't have the clip this time. What? You know what clip I'm talking about? I don't actually. Don't throw it's me Mega Man. Uh, Pharaoh Man's power. Pharaoh Man doesn't give a crap and gives him a right cross. I'll show the clip to you after the show. <laughs> I have to see this. Um, it's hilarious. It's from that. It's from the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon. I'll give it for you after the show. Is that the so, one where he's cross-eyed? Uh, um, huh? Yeah. The one where he's cross-eyed? More or less. Oh, More okay. Or less. Yeah. So we got Pharaoh Slam, four difficulty three, plus zero high block, three mid for four. It's a slam and enhanced checks your opponents make during this attack. It's minus one. So it's got good numbers. It's got a spectacular block. And it further screws over your opponent's check for abilities. So with this, with Pharaoh Man, that means it is, they're getting minus two. two to minus three if you have Pyramid out, and this becomes three mid for six. Yeah. This reminds me of one of my favorite cards from back in Soul Calibur, uh, well, Theme and Mencar. No, just the num just numbers-wise. Theme and Mencar, yep. Yep, yep. yep. Just three mid for four, plus zero high block. 
semi-relevant ability, uh, hopefully towards your deck. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to play a plus zero high on a poke move, this is a solid card to run. I like the zero high more than anything else in the card. Um, yeah. <laughs> other than the keyword. Uh, I like the zero high more than anything that's not the slam keyword. Um, it's it's okay. Um, it's not, not total, but um, it's... It's a little limited. The E on it is limited to just that attack, unfortunately, so it's not as uh, not as mean going forward. But it's it's okay. It fits Pharaoh Man, uh, Pharaoh Man's theme. I don't know if I'd see really it, unless I really need a zero high block. I don't know if I'd play it outside of Pharaoh Man. Yeah, yeah, like it's a zero high, and it's essentially a four mid for four with that E. Um, yeah, solid guard. Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll draft it. It's gonna. It's a. It's a good poke move. Like it's. I don't know. His support kind of like. I. I like his foundations more than his attacks. Like outside of his next. The next card we're gonna look at. So, it's. It's a card. It does things. Good for it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Feral wave. Uh, six difficulty. Two check. Plus one hive. Five mid seven. Break one ranged. Enhance your opponent makes a check against a difficulty of six. If it fails, draw two. Enhance this card of momentum. This attack gets plus two damage and plus two speed. Your opponent's next check. This enhanced step gets minus two. So he just essentially says free draw two cards. Discard momentum. Make it big, and your opponent's screwed over really badly for anything Ferroman does. Oh, um, this is, over for this this is going to be one of those cards that everybody's going to be going after, like you would not believe. I have heard dirty, dirty things about this card. Um, people want this card in them and around them. Ah, uh, Joe Hill. Speaking of which, yeah. people, go to Joe Hill's fund and get him to Gen Con. <laughs> He's a wonderful man. You would love to meet him, to the newer players. The Star players, what are you waiting for? Help that man get over across the pond. He might be I... beating you up at Fairways in the future. <laughs> I love this card. I, I, this is, th- this card is very well designed. I, I, the, the only thing is, I'm not sure what symbol it's the best on. Order. Life. Yeah. Fire. Life, fire. <laughs> like, I just wanted to be dissenting. I think if I go pitch a momentum, make it a, five, uh, a 7 mid for 9, and then you go activate the E. And you're, if you don't have it on a, a, a check ability, you're like, activate the E now. I'm like, okay. But get, you're minus 3 to your 2 to your check. If you're just playing it on anybody, if it passes, you're ripping two cards. That's a pretty good lead off to a kill turn. Uh, can I be the dissenting voice here? Um, okay. I, if it's, I think just looking at the sheet so far out of the ones, because I, I keep the Mega Man ratings that we did before we did these uh, these shows. Yep. Um, I got I've got it open right now. Um, everyone gave this a five, and I gave this a three. Um, I I compared this a lot to Tenshu Baku Shingeki, which is uh, the Shen ultra rare punch that draws you two cards because you're Shen basically. Yep. Um, Duo can also do it. I think it's in a similar vein as that card where the the two the draw two is great. Um, unless there's something I'm missing, I don't know if this is gonna be getting spots as a two check um, and. and that's it's a fine line with this card, and that's that's the hard part. And I it might be awesome, and I'm just underrating it right now. Um, this is one of these cards. If it was a three check, it'd be too strong. But if it's a, as a two, I don't know if it's good enough. I think it's in a weird spot, and um, I, maybe it, it might just come out and wreck house. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna be eating crow. Like, like it kind of feels like HRK, where when HRK first came out, you're like, yeah. okay, this card seems really good, but it didn't find a spot. And now it's like a solid two of and a lot of decks, and it's well, just, just a giant move. And not kidding, like if you remember when um, Jasko and that first spoiled HRK on Facebook, you'd think they were like spitting on you know children or something. Like, people like this card is too powerful. This ban it right now. How can you release garbage like this? It's overpowered. And it's honestly, it's it's kind of all right. Like it's it's okay. Like it's good for what it is. It's not like. It's not bad. It's not like holy crap, this card's amazing. Must include like it's it's just pretty good. And I yep. I don't know this card. I think is gonna fall somewhere between pretty good and okay. I don't think it. I don't think it's gonna be the like 
the divine trib or something where it's just like let's auto include this. It's too crazy. Um, I think yeah. it's going to be more like Tenshu Baku Shingeki where it's going to be limited to um, certain kinds of decks. This card is also on a clock. Um, and that's I think Pharaoh Man as a whole is kind of on a clock. Um, after a while. Um, making a control check in a later game isn't a big deal. So you, you're really on a clock. You want to get the game over by about turn three or four. Otherwise, after a while, passing like those big checks like that won't hurt quite so bad. Oh, the other thing is, and this is to play devil's advocate. I love this card. Sure. Mm -hmm. But a uh, devil's advocate, we have fire and life. So we have this card competes in spots with Shirno no my and Leona Boy. Yep. And Firestorm. And Firestorm. I still don't think Firestorm is an attack. I think it's just a really elaborate block. <laughs> you Here's where I do like it. it. Let me throw Have you a ever played that card? card? It's, it's, it's so good. Guys, this card's ranged, um, so it combos Leona Blade? Yes. Yeah. That's a thing. I, I just want to throw that out there. That's all I got. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> so, I mean, this is another way to get more cards and Leona Blade and whatnot. I mean, like I said, this, like I said, to play Devil's Advocate, you're competing with other spots, obviously not with Leona Blade because you want to trigger the... You can trigger the combo off of this, but there are other cards that will be going into this deck other than this card. Nice. What Mark said is true. Feral Man is essentially a clock deck. You either start off strong and kill them in the first couple turns, or you're not living very long. So, two things. One, it combos with Shield Ram. That's more important than I think comboing with Leona Blade. <laughs> you uh, just draw three cards and discard Shield Ram. Yes. <laughs> uh, also... I think part of the problem I was looking at and like rating a lot of these cards is I made the mistake of looking at things too much in a vacuum. Like I didn't go and look at me like what other two checks are there and all these symbols and whatnot. I made the mistake of a lot of those with a lot of the cards in this set. And I realized like Order got a lot of two check attacks that I like in this set, and I think I like Rain Flush more. Yeah. yeah. I also like multiples. I mean this card. It goes in front of Shield Ram, so that's where I think it has its most value. Very good. Moving on. Yeah. This is one of the big cards. We can afford to take some time on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got Charismatic Ruler. Two for five, plus two high. Response command after your opponent makes a check that is not being play, being made to play a card, that check gets minus two. That's a va it's a, this is a vacuum card, card for him. Yes. yes. Straight up. Awesome Pharaoh Man card. Very limited outside of Pharaoh Man. Yeah. It, it, it might as well say Pharaoh Man only on it. <laughs> might as well. I mean, you have this, you have... Uh, it's not Eternal Beauty, is it? Yeah. It is Eternal Beauty? Yeah, that's one of the things okay. you think. So you have this and Eternal Beauty to help out Pharaoh Man. But yeah, this is a completely vacuum card. It's not going to go anywhere else but Pharaoh Man. Yeah. And, of course, then we turn out to be horribly wrong and somebody in Dark Stalkers does something close to Pharaoh Man. Some crazy stuff that we don't see coming. Yeah. All right, moving on. Fear of Women. See, I told you, people. <laughs> Freaking uh, weirdo. Two for five, no block. Uh, enhance. Your opponent makes a control check against a difficulty of five. If it fails, commit this card. Your attack gets plus three speed. So, essentially, it's a card that could potentially have stun stand at your opponent, and if they do choose to fail it, it gets plus three speed. Eh. It's okay. It's kind of eh. Like I said, you either have the potential to stun their board, tap their board, or they give you plus three speed. All, all I, I gotta say, this card's interesting. Eh, like, it's just, it's not great. I feel it like this is another Pharaoh Man card. Just... Yeah. It's mechanically neat with Pharaoh Man, but it doesn't have a block. But at the same time, to be fair, it also doesn't commit itself. Until, until, you have to until they give you the option to. Yeah. Meh. Next card. Yeah, no. <laughs> I agree. Uh, 1,000 Mamira. I'm going to guess that's right. Uh, 3 difficulty, 4, plus 3 mid. Response command after your opponent fails a, fails a check, draw one card. Enhance, discard one momentum. Ready this foundation playable while committed. So I really like this because this is not just Pharaoh Man only. It's any time. So if they screw a checkup and it ends their turn, you can respond with this immediately. Respond with multiples of these, draw cards, and then ready it just immediately, or you can get a free card during your turn during your attack. It's 
I like drawing cards. That's why I like this card. Um, I'd probably only play, unless I'm playing Pharaoh Man, maybe. I'd probably only play like one of it. So I probably rated it higher than I thought I would. But it's I like cards. it's okay. I I mean I like the idea. I like what it offers um, on a board. I think that there's certain decks. Like if you're playing against, I I'm just gonna put it, if you're playing against Raiden. And you have this card in your board, or you have that one main. You want to put many. You want to like, like I can't team Kim constantly. Like I'm not gonna pass team Kims every time when I try to activate them. So guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna you just start ripping extra cards on their turn. It could be a problem. That's where this card's more interesting. I think it's actually, I, honestly, I think it's the most interesting if you get it turn one, um, and they're gonna play. You know, if you're going first turn one, you lay this down. Um, and then they go for their build and they fail their last foundation or something where you get an early card. Like I, I, I think unless you're facing something very specific, I like Raiden, Phil Birch, um, Takuma, Vincent Gray, where they have like a, a constant checking going on where there's a chance they can fail without failing a card. Um, it's much more useful. Otherwise, I think it's going to be, be a Pharaoh Man card. Yeah. Solid card in draft. Very solid. Yes. Should have done a chart where we had draft uh, draft ratings too. I thought about that, but that would have been messy. I'm but we could do it. Like I'm we don't. Draft. Yeah, okay. like, that's something I figure we could do after we've all maybe drafted once. All right. Uh, Pyramid Explorer, two difficulty five plus three mid. Response during your turn, commit. After your opponent commits one or more foundations to pass a check, choose one of those foundations. It does not ready during their next ready step. Of course, his foundation that I feel like you could put in anyone is the one that's rare. Yeah. I mean, this is really, really good because this is not a vacuum card. So, I mean, anything, anytime they got to commit something to pass a check, this can go off. This is the most fair, like... This is the most useful outside of Feral Man, Feral Man card. Um, it's, I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's okay. Um, I, I think Order and Fire, especially, are going to have some really good committal. Um, so it's good to be able to lock down the board a little bit, and I think this could be a part of some like a, a heavy committal deck off of Order and Fire. Um, outside of that, I, mean, I, I don't think it's amazing. Don't you know? I don't think it's like some barn burner card that's like oh, this is taking over the world. But I, I think it's a pretty good card. Um, it, it's I think it's something. It's, I think it's going to be specific to certain decks. I think it puts a threat out there that can. It makes people have to can be careful on what they commit. That's what this card really does. It puts that. I have this card out, and I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. A, like I'm doing like a like a like a poke turn. And if you're like playing like a, I don't know, really, I'm really trying to find out where it's gonna fit and how many you're gonna play. But it does put that threat out of I can't commit things like oh I'm just gonna commit out my board because I can. I'm like that you might be out something important for your next turn. And that's think, what this card can do. I think even in my Pharaoh Man deck, I only ran this as a two of. Yeah. yeah it's I not a that card that says your turn. Yeah. I am less impressed with this card now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, never mind. This card isn't good. Um, I misread that too. I just kind of went our commit. Um, yeah, if it since it's limited to your turn, um, this card's kind of butt. Um, I, I I thought it you have to be aggressive with yeah, it. It, it. It makes it this card actually becomes much more of a Pharaoh Man card. Um, yeah. In in reading it, it's it's a lot more of a Pharaoh Man card. Um, I mean, maybe I thought, you know, they're going to block. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see. Let's see what Proto Man does. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what Proto Man does. <laughs> Proto Man. more to Proto Man. On to the next one. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Proto Man's back for the vengeance. Ooh. Like you would not believe. Don't threaten me with a good time. Ah, I heard you love to party. <laughs> uh, I, I was literally quoting Rodeo from Rock of Love. Uh, <laughs> All right. Proto Man is 628. Air, Death, and Fire. Response commit one foundation after your opponent, after your blocked attack resolves. Discard it from your card pool and your opponent loses one vitality. Uh, enhance commit after your, your attack gets plus X speed and X damage, X equals the number of cards that have been discarded from your card pool this turn. So he will always deal damage. He's got Sovereign's Glory. 
he has a decent butt on him. So he's just a little bit below Iori. I, I he don't think he's Iori. He doesn't have an engine. That's the most important thing. Well, like, he does. We'll get he to does, that. But it's, he does, but it's not like... You have to, you're not like auto-drawing to draw, draw two, discard one. You're not dicky. You don't have that. Uh, my, light, but... my take on him, just, just this is this is where I, I think he's worse than the seven-hander. I think the seven-hander is considerably better. Um, I, I think that the one, the one way you can kind of tee off with him is with Shiro Nui no Mai. Um, yeah. As long as you can set up Shiro Nui no Mai, I think he, his next, his turns get massive. But you need some, you need a little bit of setup. You need it. Um, he doesn't have the just easy like. E, free E, discard a card from my card pool like the seven-hander does. Um, I think he's much better as a fire build. I like him with Shiro Nui no Mai. Um, I don't think he does like the uh, air onslaught that we'll talk about in just a second, um, as well as the seven-hander. I've tried both. Um, and I think he's better as Shiro Nui no Mai off of fire. I think the seven-hander does the air, discard a bunch of cards from your card pool engine better. Um, I, but I think him with Shiro Nui, it's crazy, but you have to get the setup for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it could be a thing with the uh, Gemini Beam Slam uh, deck we were talking about. Like, he might be something. You know you uh, want to play it. I actually think... I, I actually really want to try a deck with either playing the seven hand size and playing four of this one to merge, or play this one and merge the seven hand size. Like, I really think that, like, getting him combined with his other form... Like, I but, will, but Jesse... Could be, yeah. Be my true form. That, but what about that Gemini Man supports only good with Gemini Man? I'm not saying we have to play it off of air. Man stuff. I'm not. I'm not saying we have to play that off of air. But Gemini Man stuff picks up Proto Man's from your yard to fuse. Yeah, probably. But we're yeah, maybe. It's not a stacking Proto Man. I know, but he's gonna be a stacking Proto Man. Ash is not a stacking Ash. People still Ash. do it. People still right. stack Vespa. People were stacking Vespera. Ask Andrew Force about it. That man loved the stack in Vespera. I thought the second Vespera was like a five div. No. No. He's a six. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Ominous whistle. Which oh, 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 oh. No. We're just gonna uh, spend the rest of the show on this card. All right, guys. Um, I I said in the last the last segment um that I pre-ordered two cards. Um, this is the other one. Uh, there is no <laughs> way I have to make sure I get three to four of this between my boxes. Um, this is a super crazy crazy card. The only the only catch with this card, it loses to um anything that stops draw. So it's it's gonna lose immediately to caught red handed. Um. It's there was a couple other cards that beat this too that I can't think of off the top of my head. Polar warp. Wh- which one? Polar, Polar warp. warp. Yeah. The that's all the, it, there's there's a few things that stop it, um, but if you don't stop it, it it's it's it, you're in for beating. Uh, this this card's really good, um, super good, in conjunction off especially I I've been playing it off of air. Um, it, it's it's super crazy in air, you know, just stuff like Rapid Proto Buster. I, um, the card we're going to talk about in a minute. There's a lot. I, I I could talk about this card all night. This is an amazing the, card. The, I was always I was actually war. We I, I got kind of like a a a, to, a, a, a kind of hinted about this card a while ago, and I feel I understand why this. I'm very happy this set was not out for, for nationals this year because I think a restack with this card is insane. Like, you get all the peek and dig with it. Yes. Like, um, that could have been... Like, I think there's... there. Like, I think if anybody's going to, like... If there's a PTC where somehow Red Horizons League, I think the Omaha and might be, you might want to look at Reese with this card, because yes. it could be kind of stupid. <laughs> I One think, note, guys? One yeah. note? For the people that maybe don't know what the card does, we should let... Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to bring it's like, now after we're all done, here's what the card does. <laughs> now that we're done with the circle chair. So it's 5 difficulty, 5, plus 2 mid. It has a stack ability if this card does not count towards progressing difficulty. So for the rest of your turn this combat phase, whenever one or more card is discarded from your card pool, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an attack, add it to your hand. Okay, now we move on. 
<laughs> but I know one other little thing about this card too that makes it kind of stupid is because it's like you pick the order that all like floating abilities and stuff happen. Like if you last ditch, you pick like you look at the top and then like draw your card. It, like you sort that all out yourself. It's whatever order you feel like doing stuff in. So um, it, it's you can look at the top and then go, oh, it's it's an, it's not an attack. All right, I'll just pick it up with last ditch or you know whatever. It's or you if you don't have it, you can just peek and see what your next check is going to be and plan accordingly. Um, this card's stupid. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's great. I have to own it. Hey, so. Dream Thief screws this over slightly too. Like I love this. This is a this card's going to see a lot of play, and there's going to be a lot of decks trying to find out what's the best for, way to play this card, especially after rotation and. Like I mean, I, this is in my this is in my like right now my like, one extended deck that I'm really thinking I'm gonna play at Origins is Reese with this card and just play like so. Ryan Fields deck post rotation pre like with the Soul Caliber stuff and just put four of this in and just clean the deck up and just be like all right my deck is a combo deck with punches good luck. So how many ultra rares come in a box? Is it six? Six, six or seven? Six or seven? And then there's one per, and there's one in every starter. So I have a potential uh, 56 to another eight. They have ultra rares in the starters? There's one ultra rare in every starter. Get out. Okay, so that's why they're sold out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, and there's um, four alternate uh, foils. One of them that are not the character. There's a character foil in every starter of the character it is, and then four alternates of four cards. Yeah, they really went with the foil heavy thing this time. They got they got they finally got the steam on that we like foily. Really? <laughs> they, they found they found the addictive foil that uh, magic sells. <laughs> well, at least we aren't doing chase foils. Yeah, so I think you had a potential of fifty six to sixty four uh, ultra rares. Hope to God I get a place one of these. We get to go from this card to like the worst card in all, in the whole set of support. <laughs> How do we go from this to Proto Slam? Get out of here. Alright. All right, so hey, 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 I like this card. Shut up. Three difficulty <laughs> three. Uh, plus one mid block. Three mid for three. Enhance, discard one momentum. Your opponent loses two vitality. Oh, and slam. I it's, mean, a, it's a decent poke for Proto Man, but I would much rather be playing Rapid Proto Buster at the three spot, three of, or three different spot. I'll agree this card's awful, <laughs> but I like direct damage. I like just burning people. I cried myself to sleep nights, many nights over when they banned uh, Ballistic uh, Snap Kick. <laughs> you so. cried? <laughs> he was very he was unhappy because that that garbage. He, <clears throat> this card I like direct mentality a lot. It's a cool burn card. It's a little thing. It's nothing special. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's talk about our the, the unanimous uh, loving card. This, this is side. like the fives across the board. I think this is the only one we all only card in the entire set we all agreed on. Yep. So this is Shield Ram, which is not to be confused with Dash and Shield Crap. Uh. Four difficulty three plus one high three high four slam stun one. Combo ranged, combo enhanced. After this attack resolves, discard from your card pool and draw a card. There's nothing bad about this card. It's like M44 Vapor Cannon. No I matter what you do, you profit. That's a slight on this card by comparing it to the Vapor Cannon. Uh, this card kicks <laughs> the crap out of... This, this, this is a whole nother... This is just... Oh, man. This Once card's again. terrific. Well, I was comparing it in terms of you always profit with this card. Yeah. I, I, and I'm just kind of trolling. This this card's yeah. stupid good. Um, that an ominous whistle should just they, they're like I, the Brangelina of UFS cards. Like they just work I, hand in hand together. They have cute kids that they adopt. Like it's <laughs> th this card is terrific. Um, Wait, ominous whistle has range on it. The combo ranged. No. Combo ranged. No, um, just cards whistle, itself. And you draw whistle and ominous an whistle triggers. Guys, co combo ranged. Discards itself, and you draw. It. Oh yeah, and then ominous whistle triggers too. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, thanks guys. Um, fair and balanced. Uh, this card's just crazy. Um, I don't want to be on the receiving end of it. It's super good. I my 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 pre rotation deck is gonna be Mr. Karate ramming these down people's throats. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Threat They're like your time. People are gonna hate this. Like I love this card. This card is gonna. This is an uncommon, and I'm very happy this is an uncommon. What's to say that? If it was an ultra rare, it would be like a fifteen or twenty dollar ultra rare. Like just with its stuff alone, this card's stupid good. Instead, yeah. this is probably gonna be a five or ten dollar uncommon. This Don't could turn ideas. If, if, if this set if, for the longevity of this set. I wouldn't be surprised if after a year, this is a four to five dollar uncommon. You yeah. want to have your set. You want to get it when the set's out, out it sooner than later. Like this, this could, this has a lot of potential, especially with the range keyword being so common in Mega Man. You, you want to have this card. Yeah. This card appears to be now just gonna go at it with each other for a little while, on which competes with what. I believe I was talking to Tim about this card a while back, uh, when he was playing that my deck and Empire Circuit a while back. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a card he said, uh, he's straight just cutting Piercing Howl from his deck for this card. I don't blame him. I was going to say, this is a new card we're going to be seeing Garrett rip up. <laughs> yeah. Garrett will not rip these up. It's an uncommon. <laughs> no, in a large set. I will not let him touch these. He'll rip up his own card. He can break into my house, get into my, my, uh, binder of UFS cards and tear these up himself if he wants to make the journey, but... Um, this card's stupid good. I'm not tearing any of this up. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, Turbo Protobuster. Uh, we talked to this an extent, but Mark hasn't had to say. Uh, it's five difficult to two, five mid for seven, no block, desperation four, static of after this card is discarded from your card pool, add it to your momentum, enhance discard one momentum, steal one of your opponent's foundations or assets. I don't think it does enough to be a two-check. Um, I, I think the best factor about it, honestly, is the discard of momentum to seal an asset um, because there's just not that many great answers to assets right now. Um, so I, I think it's actually better just to counter to assets. I, I don't love it as a two. I think it's borderline not useful as a two. Um, it's okay. I think okay. the only thing that really hurt it is also the fact that uh, Conk Blast is sticking around. That's a thing. Yeah. 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 Um... If Conk Blast wasn't sticking around... This would be better, but since it is, yeah. Yeah. I, I think just for Proto Man's theme, I think part of it is that it, it especially if you're going air, um, it, there's no reason if you're gonna use a two check spot in your deck, there's no reason that you would play this over Conk Blast unless you're super worried about an asset of some kind. But you're playing fire. I don't think you'd be that worried about it. Like yeah. fire, Proto Man. Or, or maybe fire. Yeah. You, then maybe. But uh, I, I give me a. Oh. Yeah, sure. Get, well, like, you can go, and that's the thing where I would go Shiranui and I'd run the uh, uh, the Rio punch that lets you add a card from your momentum. That would be my my way to go about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Moving on, we got uh, DNL Triple uh, O. It's one for five, no block, unique. Uh, enhance, destroy this card. If your non-throw attack deals damage. Your opponent loses one vitality for each card you discarded from your card pool this turn. He also to say, if you go to Rochester CCG, this is already sold out. And I don't see it. I someone Maybe out there knows what I said last uh, last time. A wee bit too literal about how much you can burn to kill. That's my only thing. I think it's okay, and I think it's worth a one of maybe or maybe a two of. Um, it's a spam, so that that helps. Um, but it's unique. It's it a spam. Unique. That's, that's why you, unique, which hurts. Exactly. It's a one. It's a one of or two of. Um, mm. If you bought a box or two, you're going to get the one or two copies that you need. Um, yeah. I, I I don't know why the single would sell out super hard, but um, the, not to try and take business away. If people want to buy ten of them, go for it. But um, I I think this is an interesting one of or two of. I don't think it's anything more. Um, it's. I don't see I, the damage getting much beyond five or six. At, if you're really killing at that turn, you might get five or six out of it. That's an awesome turn at that point. They're going to die whether you have this card or not. I can see one deck where you would play a full set of it. Uh, Skullman. So you could pitch your extra... Could you just pitch your extra ones to draw cards? It's from the card pool. No, I know. Yes. But I'm saying, like, if you have extra copies of this card in your hand, uh, and like so that way you and you already have one in play... You sure. can pitch them, draw two. Like you play off Dak, you play off Death, oh, and you're digging oh. for it. Like because you're playing his support, and then a lot of the Death stuff that discards cards from Carpool. Like I could see where that could be. Like you could play that match, that many of them, but eh. 
Mm-hmm. I don't like that. really likes the art. The that odd thing really is, awesome is now Death has really, really good spam. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I, I've looked at it because I am going to go through and build Death Skullman. This didn't make the cut because there's already much better 1-5 one, one spam for Death. Yep. Yeah. Morning Lost is still here, so that's always a thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk about that card. Oh, yeah, that card doesn't exist. Yeah. It totally does, and it sucks. Ugh. All right, moving on. Uh, fighting for Wily. Uh, two for four, plus three low. Enhance, commit, discard one foundation from your card pool. Your attack gets plus two damage. If it deals damage, add one copy of the card, add one copy of that foundation for your discard pile to your staging room. Card's cute. <laughs> So, could this be played in a geyser deck? Does Terry have air? No. No, okay. you can't play it in geyser. It's it does it doesn't it, no it, I, I it, there's nothing that really really works to make this fun. Like there's no there's no foundation there's one foundation right now, and that's in the, it's in the set, the rescuer, that, that kind of works with this card and makes it does some does something, but after that you're just like eh. I don't think this card's total butt in the six hand proto man. Um, I wouldn't waste time on like the seven and anything like that because um, the six one is really like I. That's where and we'll talk about it with the next two cards. But the six hand is going to need as much help as you can just to get some cards out of the card pool. If you're especially if you're not Shira Nui, um, you're just going to need. Yeah. Like, let, me, let me put some garbage in the card pool just so I can clear it out and pump a big attack later. Like that's that's kind of where it's headed, and it's it's I don't know I. It, it seems like a reach. I think you're better off just doing it the traditional way, like, you know, last ditch gamble and attacks that clear themselves and, like, you know, shield ram and all that stuff. Actually, um, more than building a, like, because you're going to need to combo this in some way generally. Not this one as much, but the next two especially. You're going to need interactions that kind of click, and I, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's, it might be too much to try and make this work. Now, here's where I actually make this card sound somewhat decent. Uh, this has Death and Fire, so this can go in Skullman, and this can go in Vespera. To when you play the reversal, you discard the block from your card pool. You gain a copy of that block uh, if it was a foundation. In your staging area, your reversal gets plus two damage. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Extended. This could be in my Skullman reversal deck. This could put, still be in a Death Vespera deck. I mean, this literally is not made for what most people think. This is actually made better for reversal attacks. Eh. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah. Right. I like it. I like the idea of reversals with that card. That's cool. I good idea. Yay, I achieved minor <laughs> grumbling of agreeance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I can see something with it at some point. I just I don't like I don't like reversals. Well, I mean, I'm running this with Skull Barrier, so I block Skull Barrier zero low for five plus whatever I do with Skull Man. If they eat five, they're they you get a foundation. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Uh, repaying a debt. Uh, three five no block form commit. Discard one card from your card pool. So this gives Air Proto Man the other Proto Man seven hand sizer. Now, I believe two or three ways to discard cards from your card pool. Yeah. I think, I think it's a solid cog. Just, like, you're going to run, I think, one or two copies of it just to have additional ways to discard stuff from your card pool. Yeah, right. I mean, you run two of these and two prototype and have fun. Yeah. I think this is okay. Um, yeah. I, I, in the decks, I've been... It's not amazing. In the decks I've been building, um, I haven't needed it um, between last ditch and uh, the one where Proto Man's lifting, you know, lifting a car or something, um, or a boss or whatever he's doing. He's you know world's strongest man or whatever, and he's doing that stuff. I that where it discards an air card and then anything you know Proto Man abilities or combos or things that remove themselves. I haven't really needed it, but I can see like if you find yourself in a in a pinch and you need to get an extra card or two that just discards some stuff, I can see the purpose of it. Um, I don't love it, but it's it's okay. I, I, I was playing. I was playing an, an octagon with, with my Mr. Karate deck. It was fun because it's just like that deck need more cogs. Like the decks that don't have discard, like you gotta think about the, the if you you can play this and not Proto Man on those symbols, and it just gives you that push to like get a little deeper. 
Like, which is always good. Like, like I mean, you you can play this and less ditch gamble. It, it, it adds up clearing that pool out. Uh, the main thing I'm gonna be using it in is I'm gonna be playing all this stuff in an extended deck with shredding vibrato. <laughs> oh god! Like I missed that card to death. I'm going to make my shredding vibratos gigantic with Protoman's ability, and then I'm going to murder them. Oh god in heaven! Matt, quit saying things like this. What? You're gonna make your giant vibrato huge. I'm sorry that everyone else is being a ten-year-old. <laughs> We've already no, said that we're all about five anyway. <laughs> about right. <laughs> all right. Not. Everyone else can act like like we have one viewer right now. Just let you know. Hi, viewer. Uh, let me see who it is. <laughs> I believe it's uh, Charlie. They have not made comments. All right. So we have Rescuer. It's two for five plus two mid. After this card is discarded from your card pool, add it to your staging area. Bleh. It's, it goes with his stuff, like that foundation we were talking about before. Both the foundations before, actually. Goes with his stuff. That's all I get to say about that. It's not much to talk about. No. Nope. We gotta get quick. Quickly get, get to quick the next here. Car. Gotta move quick. We gotta go faster. Go faster. Oh my god! This crazy dude's not giving up. Sonic, go faster! Wait, wrong game. <laughs> no, wait. That's valid because Sonic and Mega Man crossed over. That was actually a really good comic too. Worlds Collide is actually really, really good. Uh, all right, so we're on to Quick Man, who's kind of a bit of a jerk in the comics. Uh, six difficulty, six. I don't know why I read that. He's not a stacker character. Uh, six hand size, 26 health. Uh, air, chaos, and good. Response command, after an attack is played, it gets flash. Uh, first form, destroy one foundation. For the rest of your t for the rest of this turn, your flash attacks get plus two speed, and whenever one of your flash attacks with a printed difficulty of four or more deals damage, your opponent adds one foundation to their hand. So he's kind of like Ferroman. This is going to be a very bam, boom, boom, boom. You're dead, or if it drags out, you're just giving them back blocks. I feel like Chin and Billy. Had a special love child, and that's where this F came from. Um, the only thing I can really see really well with Ferroman is if your opponent tries to play an attack and this is their big kill move, they, they gotta have setup or they gotta have uh, trigger enhances on it to kill you. This is where Quick Man comes in and gives it flash, forcing it just to go straight to block. Uh, you agree. It'd be pretty good when they go to Trinity Geyser. You're like, yeah, and it's a flash move now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Block. <laughs> um, I I don't. That the kicker on him after an attack is played, and that's that's the you know it makes an, any attack a flash attack to where you can't enhance on it. Um, I think the other way on him, there's probably an attack or two out there that I have because I haven't looked far enough in the Quick Man to know this one, but. Um, if there's an attack that isn't flash right now, that it, by giving it flash makes it stupid. But I don't know if there's an attack out there that's like that, where it's it's got some kind of like a, a static or it's got something crazy that I don't see. I, I the top of my head, I don't know of any. There might be something I'm missing, but I don't. I just don't see it right now. I would I say, even though it doesn't run on symbols, I would say any of Caden stuff, because then they're just then you're just playing a game of block where you die. I'm thinking sure any symbols. Stuff he, doesn't share, he doesn't share any symbols with this, Joe. I know. I just said that. I no, but saying, I, for example, I'm confused. I'm confused um, why you're using Kaden as your example, then. I'm Is there anything that's just, like, just, I don't know. I'm trying to find, like, a clever, like, combo right now, like and it's just not happening. I, I got nothing. Um, I, I think the R defensively against other attacks could be interesting. Like, against a Leona Blade? Like, here's, like, Leona Blade with oh. nothing. It's a three-minute for eight. Uh, Piglet's watching. Hey, Piglet. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Swig of water for a working man. I, I don't like this guy. I, don't, I think he's... I don't like his F. 
I, 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 he's a, is R is very defensive only. It, it just doesn't seem like a good character. Like I said, this is one of the scenarios where this is turn two or three. So they don't have a lot built, hopefully. So you're setting them back on making checks. But if it goes beyond that, you're just giving them back blocks to uh, block attacks with. So he is essentially what he says. This is a quick deck. You either kill on turn two or turn three, or you're just giving them cards back to block with later. Church just told me something kind of neat with him. He's kind of a counter against the new Mega Man. The new Mega Man gives uh, your attacks done too with his response, and you're like, all right, I'll give it a flash. Nice waste of your keyword. No good. Cute. Yeah. I see that. Like there could be this guy could be a cyborg character in those symbols. Yeah, I mean he could be a toolbox. Remember, like, I really didn't good have a toolbox for the longest time a while ago. Like it's been a while since I've said there's been a toolbox character where like I have this guy in my cyborg and he does something. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Dodge. Get out the way. Get out the way. I was kind of thinking pickle. I I I I was thinking a wrench being thrown at my at my head. Oh man! <laughs> kind of wish Team Four Star was here just for you dodge a wrench, you dodge a ball. All right, so it's five difficulty four, no block. Uh, R lose X vitality before the damage step of your opponent's attack. It deals no damage. Add one foundi- Add one of your opponent's foundations to their hand. X equals half of that attack's damage rounded down. Uh, Tim Keith did actually say that this does halt stuff even after Killing Dinosaurs is played. Because Killing Dinosaurs is after the block step, but before the damage step. Yeah. Yeah. And this is uh, straight up before the damage step. Um, I think it's. I think it might be pretty good. Um, I'm a little leery that maybe... Um, as oh Man, I don't know. It, I, it's it's weird. I, I'd have to look at the rest of the lineup. I probably wouldn't run it in air. I don't know about the other two symbols. I haven't looked enough yet. Um, it's, I would it's a good this, I, I don't think it's bad. Like this, I like this in good Sasquatch, like as a one of, and it's just like a, especially if they play. If you're going second, it you're just going. You've tapped to like if you're there. If you're going second or something, you just want to like you're blowing up foundations. You're you commit their board. And then you're like, okay, take half damage on the attack, bounce the card that you can't, that you're making them have to replay this turn. Like it can, it can lead to benefits. Like it's, it's just how it is. Like it's gonna, it's good. You're gonna get caught by this hard at some point, and you're gonna hate yourself that you got caught by it. That's what I'm gonna say is gonna happen to somebody. It makes like, sense to me too. Yeah. yeah, it does a bunch of cute little things. Like it denies your opponent momentum. This is really good against Piercing Hell, if you don't have the block for it. Um, like he just plays a, den- a bunch of denial game. Like again, I I don't see it in air either because there's Templar. Why I hate they reprinted Templar, because yeah, Chaos Guard. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, Chaos is good. Maybe we'll see. All right, moving on. We got Quick Boomerang. Uh, four difficulty two, plus two high, five high for four, powerful three, ranged weapon, uh, stack ability of after you play this uh, abilities, this card's powerful ability, it gets flash and no more enhances, maybe play this enhanced step. This card is adorable. I like that static a lot. Uh, and I think this card's going to be awesome for a uh, Donovan deck. Yeah. Yeah. I have something out here, though, guys. Um, is it, and this is just something like I'm literally I I don't know if I have a right answer to this yeah. either. Um, it shares two symbols with Conquest. Is it better than Conquest? If you maybe, it like has more momentum already. It is, but yeah. off base damage stat alone, is it a good attack opener? I think Conquest still wins out. Like. There, there will definitely be a battle between this complex, complex. So this card and complex are going to be fighting for the same slot, I think, yes. in those decks. And that's that's why I asked, like, because I don't know if there's really a right or wrong answer. Because I just reading Quickman's character, I didn't think he was very good, so I didn't delve too far into his support. And uh, 
I, that's why I didn't go too far with it. But just looking at this card, like it, it's gonna it, it good. Obviously, you're gonna run this because this is this is there's no conquest on good. Um, but if you're air or chaos, like it was just something I wanted to throw out. I guess pull the audience on this one. Is it better than conquest? Here's how I look at this. How I balance the two. Conquest is four high for eight. In order to make this uh, five five for at least seven, you need one momentum. So you either make a check against a four or a check against a five. So again, this is, you get lower difficulty, you get one higher speed, but you get one lower damage, and you have to have momentum in order to make it stronger. Uh, just off printed stat-wise, without needing any extra setup, I still say Conclass wins out. I, I, I like the idea that you don't have to go first D powerful, go to flash. Like I think there's uh, also that where this card can be a can grind out person's enhances. The like, like you can just be like do all these bonuses to it, and you're you're fighting for you just push through their negation, and then you're just like uh, I'll discard two momentum plus six damage, and now we're fighting. Like they could hold, they could be pass pass, they could be like passing for something. And you're just like, okay, now I'm in a powerful. Now you have to deal with this. Okay. Like, That's valid. Yeah. Like, I like this card in good with motivation and whatnot to get some momentum. Uh, playing with like other ranged and weapon cards with Donovan. Like, the better your deck is at generating momentum, the be a lot better this card gets. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you have a rules question about Donovan, because I've even had to been. Even people come to me to ask for Donovan. Uh, ask him. He probably knows better. Also, in UFS, just to make a quick thing, if I still remember, if we still actually apply to this, you c if you play the ability, you fulfill as much of the ability as you can on the card. Correct. If that helps anybody with future Donovan questions. <laughs> also, cute thing you can do with this. You can activate the powerful discard zero momentum. Give it flash, go the enhanced step, go and the enhanced step. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Like if you just want to play it in quick man, just be like, up oh, flash. Uh, okay. Okay. Two speed. Next card. Yep. We have quick charge. Uh, five for three plus one low bog. Three mid five flash punch. Uh, at stack ability of after you play this card, your next check to play a flash attack this turn gets plus two. If this attack deals damage, your next attack this turn gets flash. Um, the plus one low block makes this card really decent. Uh, I kind of wish this was, well, no, for what it's wor working on. It's five. I would probably put this in either Sasquatch or Mature Mid Punches. Ah. Uh. This card trolls me so hard, because it's like, oh, yay, cool, finally, it's a pu new punch for Valiant Assault. Oh, wait. Oh, it's got flash, and it gives the next attack flash, so that if you play Valiant Assault after it, you can't activate anything. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. I mean, freak yeah. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, um... It's a vacuum. Yes, um, this card is, is very specific to Quick Man. I actually wish it didn't give your next attack flash. Yeah. Um, Valiant Assault the first um, it, I think it's okay. I, I think it's okay. I think your next check to play a flash attack is pretty cool. Um, you can chase it with your, you know, you play a con blast right after it, and you're playing it on a four. Um, so I, I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, I, I actually think that this sec the fact that it says if this attack deals damage, your next attack gets flashed. Actually hurts the card more than it helps it because um, it takes. What if you go right into time out. stopper? I'm sorry. What if you go right into time stopper after this? What's time stopper? The other the Mega Man flash attack. Oh yeah yeah yeah. 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 You go like this yeah. the time stopper in the Valiant Assault. <laughs> it's like boom boom boom. <laughs> It's like big flash, big flash punch, uh, into Valiant Assault. I don't know. It's 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 it cheap. Too much time on this card. It, it doesn't work with Valiant. We spend too much time on this card. It doesn't work with Valiant Assault. That's the Not biggest everything thing. Everything that has punch has to work with Valiant Assault. Yes, it does. No, it, it doesn't. Do. They reprinted it for a reason. If yes, you're an air good out, punch no, and you don't combo with Valiant work. Assault, get out. Yeah. Get out. The card yeah. was reprinted with a reason. It was to show Caden how fabulous his nails were. 
Hello. I got rid of all my promo copies of that card. I was like, here, Giggles, you can have a full play set of that. Give me the normal ones. <laughs> all right, we got uh, Quick Slam, which actually is not that bad. It's four difficulty three, plus one mid block, four mid four, flash and slam. This is just a good numbers card. This is a good mid range poke, good block. This is just one of those. Like I said, it's a good common. You need to get to a certain number of flashes attacks in order to make quick man to work. This gets you to your 18th attack. <laughs> your 18th. People run on on average 18 attacks. This is a, oh this is okay attack. that 18th yeah. attack. I thought you were talking about playing 18 attacks. No, this is just this is the 17th and 18th attack in your deck. Okay. In a quick man deck. I'll get, I'll just go six two as we play some cock blast and the boomerang the boomerang thingy uh, quick boomerang uh, I'd yeah be I'm a man Hulk uh, go hard and go home at that point um it just doesn't doesn't do anything like it, the way we're talking about it we're like uh, if you need seventeen or eighteen attacks you can't think of anything else let's just put this in here I guess I don't know like I don't I feel bad ever putting an attack in my deck because eh, I guess I gotta have something <laughs> I wish I I feel like everything should have a purpose <laughs> beyond that. Um, and I don't think that card really has a purpose. Uh, it's one of my least favorite slams, I think. Um, I, it's it's not not my slam of choice, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it works good with his one foundation, the, the plus two speed, plus two damage response. Like, six, it makes it a six bid for six. That's my only argument. Like, it, it, it's good in his vacuum. If you want to play the quick man deck, here's your vacuum for it. Okay. So, slam, I think I just designed your character card. I'm pretty sure you statically give all slams plus one speed, plus one damage. And you give them all the infinity symbol. You beat me to it. I was literally about to say my idea was something along the lines of giving them the infinity symbol. Uh, none of them are kill conditions. So my idea would be to make my slam attacks kill conditions of some kind. Because right now, none of them are really true kill conditions. Like Shield Ram is probably the best one. Uh, and even that, it's more like a setup card to like a kill than it is an actual kill. So I'd find some way to make a slam attack a kill condition. But I was thinking um, yours should be like Snake Man's ability, where you, you get plus one damage for each slam card you play. Your slams, I'll get... Yeah, it, yeah just floating your slam attacks, get plus one. Um, I, I, I know the recipe to making a busted character, and it would be recursion. Um, so yeah. I'd find somebody to recur a slam so I could be busted. Um, no, no. Then, Okay, right, we're not even talking one. about this card. I'm already like, yeah, I'm gonna get my character busted. I gotta win one first, and I can worry about getting my character busted and banned. Moving along. Good idea. All right, first off, I gotta say, I love the sense of humor of this card. So it's 88 miles per hour. If you weren't born in the last three decades, get out because you don't know this joke. 1.21 gigawatts. Exactly. Yeah, I, I actually I think that's what the other card said. I support this card. Um, I, I think <laughs> it fits the theme. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, three again. difficulty, five, plus three high block, form, destroy, discard the top five cards of your deck, add one flash attack, you discard, uh, discard it this way to your hand, enhance commit, your opponent discards one momentum. This is a good card. Like, this is a good card. It gives, like, you understand, it gives the flash deck, the idea of playing a flash deck, um, card advantage, which it needed, and this is like, it gets you dig for the next attack. Like, oh, going five, it. like, it's like the one, it's like the one, uh, attacking card. There was that one attacking, it was like a promo or something in attacking, yeah, it was, that was it like, was, uh, Bloodline Rebellion, yeah, where you could yeah. use a keyword or whatever, yeah. Yeah, like, this card's, a, it's Bloodline Rebellion for Flash, and it's kind of cool, you're just digging for it. It's, I think it's pretty good, man. Um, if you're playing a Flash deck, I think it's, I think it's a super crucial card, um, if you're not playing a flash deck, it's obviously you're not gonna probably run it. Even the e commit though to discard a momentum is really good. Yeah. Um, it's a little overcosted if you're not taking advantage of the form though, so I probably wouldn't play it. There's I'm sure there's other ways to deal with momentum beyond. But a would this five. make the sideboard against uh, decks that are out there that are momentum heavy? Possibly, and that's probably the way I'd approach it. Is that if if you're I I gotta look at the other stuff that's on the symbols to deal with momentum based stuff. Um. On chaos, there's better answers. Good and air, I'm not so sure. Um, but it, it, so if you're if 
we go through all this stuff and we find, hey, maybe we need an answer to momentum-based multiple decks or something, or like Shiranui decks where they're relying on that momentum. Um, this gives you an answer to get rid of that. So it might right. not be a bad sideboard long game to you, but I think the main thing is going to be that form. That form's really good. Like, if momentum gets out of hand, there's that, uh, for off of good and chaos, there's that uh, mature punch or combo or whatever that just discards all their momentum. There's also that one Kim kick that does the same thing. Uh, Chaos yeah. has Plum Eater as well. So. Oh yeah, Plum Eater. Um, my favorite thing about this card, it performs Legion with the card right next to it. Oh it's god, you actually use that term. Of course! <laughs> I play Vanguard, I'm gonna do it. I play Bushy Road card games. Uh, Legion! Uh, yeah, Legion. So Seek let's show off its Legion mate. There we go. Right, seek the mate. We have seeking the mate. Mark has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So always on the move. Two for difficulty five. No block. Response command. After you play a flash attack, it gets plus two damage or plus two speed. Solid guard. It's not bad, and I think that it's it's got that. It's not as good as killing dinosaurs and stuff because like killing dinosaurs is after blocks are declared. You decide what you're going to do with this free damage. Um, it's after you play an attack, so you, it, it's not even like relegated necessarily to a flash deck. Um, so it's it's interesting. It's built more for flash, obviously, because it's an R, and there's cards that just go eat commit and do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is not bad. Um, it's going to be better in flash decks, obviously, but it's, yeah. it's not bad. I like it's it. Can help you push things through or help get that extra bit of damage? Yeah. I like it because those symbols are not generally that great at damage pump. Um, so damn it, like as far as I know, maybe except maybe on some characters and whatnot, like Gemini Man is getting saying it, but um, decent damage pump, decent speed pump. Like I like modal abilities. Uh, and come on, you put this card at 88 miles per hour and you just win because the art fuses together. Uh, okay, well, moving on. Okay, I had, to check, I had to click on Matt's screen for a second. That damn nutcracker always makes me think there's somebody standing in the background leering at you. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Like, I literally, I, I literally, like, I look at your, your corner screen really quick, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, oh, okay, it's the nutcracker. I just thought that was giggles. <laughs> nope. He's also wearing a Niv-Mizzet crown, by the way. Yep. So it is giggles. No. <laughs> All, right, All right, moving on. Okay. Uh, build for speed. Uh, one six plus three high. Response destroy one foundation. After you play an attack, it gets plus one speed. This is a really good spam. Yes. Because it has a block. The a lot of if you look at the other one sixes in this set, they didn't get a block. This one did. Like, it's a 1-6 with a block that I think is good if you're on the all-in strategy where I need to win this turn and you just start ditching your foundations that are already tapped. Um, like, I'm not saying you should build your deck around the idea of that, but it's something for you to do for your resources where you're going all-in and the turn game's going to be over no matter what the next turn. Unless you're really desperate for a high block and or spam, I think this card's absolute butt. Um, I, <laughs> I think it's... I think it's If it didn't have the numbers it does, I think the ability is borderline useless. Um, I'm, I, I, my only take on it would be that it's similar to like those the Gentle Soul and stuff like that, where it was just a good spam numbers foundation. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think the R is particularly... I think it's insanely overcosted. I think it's pretty good with... Uh... That one, the one Sasquatch, the Assault Foundation. Glacial Assault? But it, Glacial Assault. You're like, oh, it got committed. But okay, the problem is, is that but depending on your attack lineup, you can just get speed from Glacial Assault, too. But if Glacial Assault gets committed, it's a backup, and it's a six check. I'm going to argue. I, I like this card. I know. I, I, I know I'm arguing in a vacuum with this card, but I, I that same thing is used in a lot of like the good decks. They they need that extra that they need more six tracks. If you're air, like, I like it in place of gentle soul, and that's yeah. it. I haven't looked at the other two symbols enough. I uh, uh, wild yeah, Marco sure. has appeared. Oh, I'm gonna go back to what I said before. Hey Marco, we go water um, for the working man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back I'm to what I said before. If that's water or water. 
That's why. That's not water. That's water. <laughs> okay. His other water he drank already. Oh, it's still here. <laughs> <laughs> I got my water. Uh, I don't. Right. Uh, I also look at it as another six check for Cossack Buster to put on top of your deck. That's the only reason why I like it. I, I I'm in love with Cossack Buster. If we haven't figured it out yet, when I bring up that card every time we see a six check. All right. We have right. a rivalry with Turbo Man. It's I'm sorry, every time I see Turbo Man, I think of that Arnold Schwarzenegger Sinbad movie. So, yeah. All right, so it's two difficulty, five, no block. Uh, Sagabodium, after this foundation is destroyed, your opponent discards one momentum. Response destroy after you play an attack, he gets flash. If I get to play this card in draft, every time I destroy and give an attack flash... I will stand up and go, it's turbo time. It's turbo time, Jamie. You've got to get the turbo <laughs> medal for Jamie. Um, I, I, I like this card. I like this card more when it was when I was had like the pipe dream that there was some mystery attack that needs to get flash that doesn't have it. But now that I've been sitting here and I'm really like thinking about quick man, I'm like, there's nothing I want to give flash to really. Like I just rather just play enhanced steps and things like that. And anything flash related I is just relegated to flat to uh, quick man. Um, I just I I don't know. I, I I gave it a three and it re retrospect it's probably a two. I I don't I just don't see it. This card could be better down the line. Yeah. Maybe. Like, like there could it, just be some when, insane when there's that pipe dream of there could be an attack down the line that's like if this card gains flash, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. That's kind of what's missing. I, I mean, there's probably an attack that none of us have seen coming that's just going to get, you know, some crazy well, I mean, thing. We got, like, what, one month till Darkstalkers forward start. So, you know, we very well could be seeing what this could be used for in Darkstalkers. Like, there could be a gigantic throw from Victor or BB Hood or somebody just has an outrageous throw and then it gets flash and then they got to take lump it. Yeah. Talk about throws. Yeah, I know. You know. We want to talk about throws, but that's another. I would, love to, I would love to see like this with throws. <laughs> Some giant throw, and you're just like, yeah, it's flash. Now deal with it. All right. All right. On the Justin, my man. You have a man. Ooh. Onto the rings. Oh, onto bling bling boy. Bling bling. This is, where, this is where Sanix goes to get all of his rings. <laughs> Sanix! He, challenge, he, ring. he challenges the ring man. Alright, so this is the other mystery character, which Tim said he was immediately spoiled. No one would look at him. They would just go, Geyser, 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 Geyser. Geyser, so, Geyser, Geyser, Geyser! <laughs> case in point. Uh, six hand size, 27 health, all evil life. While this card is ready, your second attack this turn gets minus three difficulty, plus three damage, and plus one speed. Uh, response, after your opponent plays their second attack of a turn, draw a card. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go with this one. You two just go all out, because I don't think you two can gush enough over this. It's, we have very it's different good. opinions. Well, I actually, I'm actually starting to play with, like, test him in a non-geyser situation, and he's still really good. Yeah. Like, like I'm gonna play. He's, card of, he's a card advantage guy. Your objective with him is to have. You're just gonna always be fat with cards. Like, he's a perfect counter against Proto Man. Yeah. I'm gonna play him with evil throws. That's my plan. Yeah. Make make my throws. Make my like six seven damage throws. That rip me cards, and I'll just play other good quality evil cards. What throws do we still have in evil? We uh, have uh, Moon Tracer. Um, that one Vector, that affects Vector, 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 Vector in, yeah. Um, and you have the Vice one. Yeah, the Vice one. I can never remember its name. I can't and remember. the Yorkie throw that's desperation, yeah. right? I've, Negative uh, game. Nick Merchant's played a lot of negative gain decks, negative gain Z May and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think he's good too. Um, obviously, Geyser is the thing that stands out. You can kind of rush a Geyser because of his static. 
Um, I think he's... I'd have to look at more of the stuff to see what else he does, because I, I did the same thing I think everyone did, and just went, oh, guys are all right, cool, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think he's going to be interesting, especially with cards like Throw It Down and stuff. Um, I think he could be a really good all-deck. Um, all, and I know that there's a stereotype of Michigan with all-decks, but um, I, I think he could be a really good all-deck. Um, I have to look more at life. I, I'm really intrigued by life. I haven't really built it. Um, I just think that Templar and Revoke are both super good, and you have access to both of them on that symbol. So um, I want to look at that a little more. But um, I, I think there's a lot of potential there. I think his R is really solid. Um, so I, I like him quite a bit. I think he's good. What are the three symbols on Revoke again? I haven't played that card in forever. It's Evil Light, Light Void. Evil Life. Evil, Void. that's it. Okay, so yep. you can play off of... He gets Revoke off of Evil. Okay. Yep. Um, my problem with Life, and the reason why I've kind of avoided Life, is well, those are two really, really good actions, but I'm conflicted because I don't want to be running that many defensive actions in my deck. I do. Uh, um, this was it, 15 it, shower. The advantage with Revoke, and this is why I feel less weird about running four Revokes in pretty much every deck that has the symbols, it's a spam as a backup, too. Yeah. Um, if I see it early, I play it as a first form, and then I have it like I, as an early foundation. Um, if I get it late, obviously, I just kind of keep it and ruin turns. And I think... That because I think a lot of people are going to try and set up big combos, whether it's um, whether it's like Shirinu and Omai, Trinity guys, or that kind of stuff. Um, Revoke just beats it, um, and that's that. That's where I, I think Revoke is super good, and I think having it's going to be really really crucial. Um, and if your deck is built around something like Geyser, you have to either have an answer for Revoke or just pray to God they don't play it on you. Um, so I, I think it's I think Revoke's a super crazy card right now. Not crazy, I guess, but it's a super necessary card. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's that card I said when they did the reprint a while back. I think it should be in Red Horizon three as an uncommon, and they should just keep reprinting it. <laughs> just forever and ever. I, you know, honestly, off of Evil and Life, I actually see this also on top of Throws. I would see this as a finishing shower deck. Yeah, we can do that. Because I mean, that makes finishing shower what like. Five or six mid for ten? Yeah. Plus yeah. his powerful ability? And his shower, look at the missiles. <laughs> Which is like my favorite favorite ultimate in that game. Alright, we'll move on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whopper. Whooper. Whoop, <laughs> oh, is it Whooper? Man, did we hate on this card. Um, is it Whooper or Whopper? Whooper. Wooper. Okay, no, Wooper. Just not bring, trigger my Vietnam S memory. Oh no, it's Wooper on UFS Ultra. It's Whopper on the card. Oh god, it is Whopper. All the memories. It's Whopper on the card. It's Wooper and UFS Ultra. So I'm confused. All right, so it's two difficulty five plus two mid ally unique. So that means this runs into evil Wiley unique ally crap. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Joe! What? Find me my secret tech. Defining the ally, ally attack. <laughs> you know, I, you know, everybody's gonna run ally Wiley. Yup. <laughs> okay, how do you block this card? Was it that funny? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, this card's just so bad. This it card really is. is so funny. here it is. So after you block with this card, if you check an attack in order to play it, add this card to your staging area. Uh, while this card is ready, you may attempt to block with it from your staging area as though it was in your hand during your block step. I wish it didn't have the while this is ready clause, so that way there could be that guy out there that plays this with Terry and just keeps on blocking and bringing it down over and over again. Offer this card if you checked it. If it didn't have the caveat of if you checked an attack in order to play it, it would be absolutely busted. But because it doesn't have that caveat, it totally sucks. This card's horrible. Um, I there's no way in hell I'd waste asset space in my deck on it. Um, I'm now dumber for reading it, and I hope it burns in hell. Um, well, ally okay, Wiley. then I build a deck. <laughs> Specifically, with this I, is my block plan. I went let Billy Madison you. on that card. It's oh, when I when I start telling it that you know, like I I'm now dumber for reading it. I I know that <laughs> Billy Madison took over. This card's bad. I quit. <laughs> you know, a card's bad when we're resorting to Billy Madison jokes. I love Billy Madison. Oh, I love Billy Madison. <laughs> it's the only reason I can quote Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. All right, let's let's go. Go. The next card yeah, that I like. I have to gouge up my eyes soon. 
Uh, aerial ring boomerang. Uh, right. Five difficulty three, four high for five, plus one low block. Uh, range reversal weapon. Uh, e, if this is your second attack this turn, add it to the top of your deck after it resolves. Enhance if this is the second attack you played. This, if this is this your second attack this turn, add it to the top of your deck during your end phase. It's a reversal with good numbers and a low block, and then a blank text box. I think that's how I approach the two. Um, I I think it's I, I like it second attack of a turn. Um, it's five high eight, and it plays on a three. Um, so I, it's a good ring man card. I think less of it in other characters. I love the plus one low block though. Just um, I actually like this in Mega Man One Dot because you can reversal with this. Tap Mega Man and make this four high for nine as a reversal. Deal with it. Yeah. Oh, it's a range. <laughs> um, thanks. I like this card. I think it's really solid. Uh, both E's are going to be used. Um, uh, I think the first, the second E's better, obviously, because you can go, with, especially playing him. You go on my turn, play this. As my second attack, okay, I'm gonna add it to my top of my deck, and then I'm gonna block with Wooper, and then I'm gonna drag Wooper down. <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare! I quit. I right, it was I disconnect fine. right now. I quit. I quit. I'm done. Okay. That was my. That was my. Okay, that's my one attempt to prove Wooper. Done. I'm. I'm done with it. He's hey. gone. <laughs> no, here's how I'm looking at this. So on your turn, you play it and. For reversal, it adds it on top of the deck. Uh, your second attack this turn. Now, it's you do this as a reversal. You stack it, and then up evil or life, you can do throw for battle and bring it back to hand. True. I forgot about throw for battle, which is going to start. I think that card could be, see some play with him. Yeah. Um, you know, his, the main thing is like combat little tricks with uh, egotistical to pick yeah. it back up. Yeah. Or... Um, because you can, like, have this hit, have it resolve. After it resolves in the end phase, put it on top of your deck, eat the first hit, pick this up, be able to play it again. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you back? I was just trolling the whole time. I just, like, oh, muted the mic and, like, turned off my camera just, just to I mess figured. with you guys. I was just trolling, man. I'm not that hardcore. No, I figured. <laughs> oh, man. I had to attempt to prove the card. I was like, here's my proof on it. <laughs> and then you whoop her. <laughs> then you whoop her. When Mark turns off the chat, he's done. Get out. No, no more hangouts. I'm pretty sure we call it Whopper, and then we go and play in Burger King. <laughs> All right. I mean, the Stop actual name is, is Whopper. Um, Whopper is just a typo on UFS Ultra. Please stop yeah. bringing that up. I was a Burger King cashier for seven years before my current job. Oh, that's got to be rough, man. I don't want nom s flashbacks of Burger King again. Okay. But, but Puts the meat bad. on the bun or else it gets the mustard again. All right. So now we're throwing boomerangs from the ground. Okay, this so card. this is ring boomerang. This card's so much better. Uh... Four difficulty three, plus two low block, four mid three, multiple one, ranged, combo ranged, and weapon. Enhance change the zone of change the zone of this attack's multiple to low. Enhance draw a card. This deck and its multiple co and its multiple copies get plus one damage. This card's uh, insane. This is yeah. like the other big uncommon in the set. And it I like this card a lot. I like it a lot of, of other. I like it in certain decks than others. But if you have like a static damage bonus, you can put on this card, like, and you can hit the combo. It's just like, okay, here's four low for four, two four, uh, four low for fours. This is why I think pretty solid. This is why I think is going to make uh, Magnet Man tick, uh, because you can play a high ranged attack, uh, like Super Mega Buster, into this, multiple it out. Make, and make it a low, and you've got your three unique zones. And you make yeah. this and the multiple seven damage. Yeah. How are you changing the printing, the normal copy to low? No, no, no. This is your mid. You change oh. the multiples to low. Yeah, the, you make the multiple low, and that sets up you have the three zones. Okay, um, but after the after the multiple resolves, it becomes a blank card. So how are you getting all three zones? Well, no. I, I have three oh, okay. attacks. I see, what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You play a high attack first, yeah. then this, then the low, and then you do Magnet Man. Yeah. Okay, my fault. Um, I, I think this is pretty good. Um, it, uh, it's, um, I like the combo. 
<laughs> there's like a lot comic. of keywords. <laughs> um, there's a lot going on. Um, there is a lot on this card. Um, the, I, I think it's really crucial that you can change the multiple copy to low. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think a four mid anything is kind of dangerous as far as making sure this is going to connect and do anything. Um, so I, I'm a little weirded out by that. But I, I think as a whole, I think this is a pretty good card. I think the big thing here is the draw um, and the multiple getting getting yeah. one damage and becoming low, and then you put some stank on it with some other cards, hopefully. Um, so I, I, I think this is pretty good. I, I think it's I think it's solid. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's solid. Yeah. What about this in Snake Man? And let this be the last attack you play, the multiple out, and then all the Snake Man bonuses go into that low multiple. That's not bad. It, it, it's not bad, Finn. It's not a way, way to push the last damage. Okay. Right, moving on. Yep. Spring Slam. Uh, three difficulty, three, three mid for three, plus two mid. Slam, when you carry this card from your card pool during your end phase, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Worst card yeah. in the set. Second worst card in the set. This card's kind of butt. Um, I don't think it's like the worst card in the set, but it's it definitely it's slam. it's, it's yeah. doing it's 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 got the slam keyword, so I can never say it's the worst. But it's it's fighting for at least that bottom tier of slam cards that I don't want to play. Uh, this this isn't a very good slam. Um, doesn't do the name justice. Uh, I'm I'm kind of out on this card. I, I I just don't I don't see the point. This and Proto Slam, you know. Uh, you know, put them in lockers and stuff, and dump their books. I, 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 not a fan. They're, they're not, they're not in the slam club for me. I kicked them out of the clubhouse. All, All right, right, moving on. Uh, clever strategies. Three difficulty, five, uh, plus three high. Uh, all enhance. If this is your second attack this turn, draw a card. Evil enhance. If this is your opponent's second attack this attack, it's minus three speed. Life enhance. If this is your second attack. This is plus three speed. All three symbol enhances are commit uh, commit some commit enhances. Um, if you this card's only good if you have at least two of these symbols. I I don't know if I could play this on somebody that didn't match one of these. Like, especially it have to be all and eh, it doesn't this, really. Like, I, it needs to you need to be playing at least two symbols I'm with this. I'm hundred percent with you. Jeff. Um, this is a. Uh, this is if you have two of the symbols, you can make an argument. Um, you can make an argument. If you don't have two of the symbols, I wouldn't touch it. Um, it maybe not even unless you have all three, um, and which is like Ringman, and that's it. Um, I, I think this is a very limited card. Um, it's not like total garbage, but it's oh. very. This shares two symbols with Birch. Just saying. Just, yeah, I know. Just saying. Other choices are for the all evil plan: QB, eh, Iceman, eh, Birch, and Billy. Billy. Oh, and Promo Vice, which cycles. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Egotistical, one mid six, no, or one difficulty six, no block. Uh, response after you are after you are dealt damage, draw one card. Only playable if you've not drawn or added any cards to your hand this combat phase. I like it. It's a fearless, doesn't tap, and it's a six check, which, as I always say, can go on top of your deck with Cossack Buster. I like a copy or two. I don't. I, you I know, obviously because it's, it's limited to. It's limited if you haven't drawn or added any cards. Um, so I mean, it, it's that's fine. Um, it's a nice one or two copies. You don't want to like go overboard on it because once you have more than one, it's kind of a dead card. Um, but I I like it as a nice one or two up. I think it's a nice little card. Yeah. Half block with Looper and still draw a card because he didn't add it to your hand. <laughs> <laughs> they said it, not me. And there's right. my one whooper, whooper joke for the episode. Okay. Moving on. When I top eight worlds with whooper in my deck, you guys got it. You get you. I I want to thank Main you. Deck. So Main I'll deck. You, so Main deck. Main deck. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. I will bring you a whopper if you do it. All right. 
I'll bring you, you some chicken fries. I'll, eat that, I'll eat that Whopper on Sunday morning. I'm going to eat that Whopper Sunday morning, though, because Top is going to be a pain with that card in my deck. I'd rather have that chicken fry swag, bro. Chicken fries? <laughs> chicken fries, bro. Mm. Oh, chicken fries are back. <laughs> That's what I should have done today. I should have gone to Burger King. All right, two difficulty five. Two this is merciless master. Two difficulty five plus three mids. Enhance once per turn. Add one momentum to the top card of your deck. Uh, enhance. Add this card to the top of your deck. It's a convoluted combo where you have a move. You have your throw hit. It goes to momentum. You put it on top. You take the hit. You eat your testicle. You put it back in your hand. Ugh. Yeah, we'll do it. It's such. It's so mad. Yeah. Yeah. He is so good, and this stuff is so horrible. I think I I think this is the complete opposite of like the the bad character the bad character good support. I think this is the good character bad support character, where like he's a good character, but I'm gonna use like all kinds of stuff that isn't him in his deck. Like he's just gonna be totally other like other characters support with him on top of it. I, I think he's I think he's good. Good, you know. and that's it. That's far. Uh, Ring Toss Champion. Two difficulty four, no block. Enhance command if this is your second attack this turn against plus three damage. Enhance name a card. Discard the top card of your deck. If the card discarded is a copy of the name card, draw a card. Card's butt. Um, I, I, I don't like this card. I, don't know. I wish it was a five check. Yes. I agree. Um, two four non block is one of those limited spots in my deck. If you're all, it's just gonna share space with Coco I I just, there's no way. There's no, I, I can't do it. The only place I can really see it is uh, evil throws for damage comp. And even yeah. then, it's kind of a stretch, but I mean, it, but. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a three damage damage pump. Um, I'd have to look at other stuff just to see if there's ant, like stuff that does similar things with less of a bad, like, less bad numbers. Like, um, there's I, Strike the Pollux for the discard momentum for plus four. Uh, there's not much other evil damage bump. And, Marco, to answer your question, we still have Skullman, Snakeman, Wily, and the Box Toppers to go, and then we're done. So, hunker down. <laughs> We've been at this already for a little bit. All right, moving on. And we're done. <laughs> and I'm spent. <laughs> All right. Moving on to my dude. Super Skullman. Skullman. Uh, Super about this one. He lets you draw a ridiculous amount of cards. Allows you to filter. Oh, wow. Well, we got to draw into a block that cannot be played, like... You play low, you toss her low, they draw high, or vice versa. On the flip side, you could give them the Templar they need. I'm well but, aware of the drawbacks. Like, this E is both really good and really bad at the same time. I'd be afraid to play it unless I know what's in their hand. Um, his second E, there's something there. There's some giant monstrosity thing you can do with Billy up your yard. Uh, um, I've this guy in, I, I've seen this guy in action. I've started playtesting it myself. Um, this guy's super good. Um, it, it's it's one of those I, I on paper I was like, how the hell does he kill? And then when I actually started playing him, I realized how he kills. It's a your opponent can't hold any specific blocks. So if they come into a turn and they're like, oh, I'm gonna hold this Templar or whatever, you can randomly force them to pitch it. Um, the other thing is that E filters so hard. It filters so hard. Um, you're just going to find the attacks you need. If you have his attacks in a, in a vacuum aren't all that great. Um, but if you use some of the others, like, I like his foundations with other attacks more than I like his attacks. I actually think his attacks kind of are kind of bad. But I think his foundations, I think him himself, are all, they're all really solid. And I think in conjunction with other people's attacks, like, especially, like, I looked at him off death. I mean, you go like Hyper Bomb, Blizzard Sword, all that, all that good stuff. Um, and, and he's got a lot of stuff to kind of back that up. I think he just filters and searches his deck so hard for the stuff he needs. Um, I, it, he's always going to kind of have what he needs. And he can do that E defensively, too, um, if he's trying to search for a block. Um, 
So I, I, I think he's, I think he's super good. And I, I like the fact good. that he has one, he has a foundation in his set that that nets off of the discard. Like, <laughs> discard this one to activate. Draw a card. Draw three. Di- draw two. Discard one. I'm like, yeah. And not so to mention, good. he's also one of the characters that makes some of those non-relevant death cards finally relevant. And we'll discuss that later when we do a Let's Build a Deck and we feature Skull and uh, feature Death Skullman versus I believe uh, Matt, you wanted to feature Water Skullman. Yeah. Okay. So we'll yeah. do that. Uh, moving on, we got Fortress of Bones. Uh, three for five, uh, plus one high. It's terrain. At the start of the end phase, players who don't damage this turn may add the top card of their deck to their momentum. It also has response commit. After you make control check to play an attack, it gets plus two. That's I like okay. this um, One thing I realize that I foresee is going to happen... There's a lot of like pretty decent terrains coming out in this set. Terrain um, wars. No, 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 no. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be like way back when in Magic when Planeswalkers first came out, and people just didn't know there was a legendary rule with them. Essentially, um, I'm pretty sure people just aren't even gonna notice that both their assets on each side are terrain, and are just gonna play through with them both in play. People that's notice. going to happen. That I guarantee. That is going to happen. It's going to uh, happen during the final round of worlds. They're going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen, and no one's going to notice. Gonna, oh, here's two terrains. We both got all this stuff. Like, um, I think this is okay. Um, I, I don't think it's amazing. I think it's a it's an opportunity to get a lot of momentum. But the fact that it's players who have dealt damage instead of just after you, um, I think it's a little less sexy. Um, after you make a check to play an attack, it's plus two is kind of. Okay, I guess. Um, I don't. I don't love this card though. Um, shares a couple of symbols with Lion Stance, um, so it's going to be very hard for me to play this over Lion Stance in Chaos and Death. Um, water, I. I don't know on the the asset base too much, uh, but that's yeah. I'm kind of out on this one. I, I. I finally figured out why I why I like Skullman so much, and why I'm kind of happy that Paralyzing Touch is no longer legal. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that would have been a. This would have been a. Awful three months if that if that was legal. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just like hit me right here. I'm like, this man could have activated both sides of P Dodge. Ow. <laughs> Oof, oh. All right, moving on. We got Skull Barrier, who I am very looking forward to own because I think the foil of this is gonna look fantastic. Uh, it is two difficulty three plus zero mid zero mid for three uh, reversal uh, response from your card pool after you block with this card you may attempt to play it as a reversal after the block attack resolves. It also has response from your card pool remove and discard two remove this from the game discard two momentum after your opponent plays an attack discard it from their card pool. I wish this card wasn't ultra rare. Because I really want to play around with this card, especially with Lilith, but I don't want to go out of my way to get it because I'm pretty sure I'm not I sure. I think we're gonna. Get, I think we'll end up with a set somehow. Yeah, we're, we'll we're opening up. so much. Yeah, I'm but just gonna I, I I have been playing with this card. I'm not using it in Lilith. I'm using it in other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a terrific two of in a lot of decks, if, especially if you have some way to have consistent momentum, um, which we'll go we'll go into a little further when we look later on his support. Um, I think this card in, in particular though is really good. Um, it it can be a turn ender, um, and I, I think that's really huge, especially if you're just kind of sitting back waiting for like one big attack. You just go, all right, well, here here comes a big attack. All right, discard it from card pool, pitch a couple more, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. I, I think this card's really good. I think it's going to see a lot of play. Um, I don't think it's one of those like oh, I gotta run four of this mug. Um, I but I do think it's gonna get. Uh, I, I do think it's gonna I, see a lot of play. I've actually been the Dastanus and Water Raiden as a two of, because you're just like it gives you a defensive play, mm-hmm. like that that deck doesn't really have. Like you get two moves that hit, you put them to momentum, and then you're just like, all right, I'm gonna play Skull Barrier. I have two moment. I, I it just gives you a defensive to block one attack and abort a second one of theirs, which is I pretty solid. I'm going to reversal late in the game and then play Morning the Lost. <laughs> Zero mid-20. Get it. 
Like, let them string out. Hopefully they overextend. Go Barrier Mourning the Lost. Go. Oh, God. Force all the discard I can possible. Yeah. All right. All right, moving on. Skullbuster. Again, I love that we're getting full of risk. That <coughs> skull beam's going to look great. Uh, four difficulty three, three mid for five, no block, ranged and reversal, enhanced discard one momentum, choose a player. That player discards two cards and draws one card. Enhance, if this attack was played as reversal to a ranged attack, add one other card in your card pool to your momentum. Uh, this is really good because this chains, uh... Two of my favorite discard cards, it's uh, Sai Kensu's Kick, which says uh, mid-attack, they discard a card, or the attack gets plus three damage. Or this also, since it's also ranged, it also runs a uh, second shot. No, mm -hmm. second shell. Second, second shells, yeah, yeah. Yeah, second shell. So second shell is ranged, so you commit a, uh, play this, commit a... Foundation and they pitch a card and you get more damage. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, just like from this, this alone, these alone, not to mention the abilities. The I like the E. Like the E is just like target you, discard two, draw, make you discard two and draw one. That's pretty good. I think and it's it a nice discard card. One just drew because of one of my two abilities from the follow up. So yeah. I think it's a nice card. I don't think it's like. Um, I, I think it's going to fight for space with a lot of other things. Um, I like it more as a discard tool than anything, because um, the discard two to draw one is, is you know, they're discarding essentially one. Um, I, I think it's solid. I like it in a disc, more of a discard sense than I do in like a numbers or damage or any of that. Like I don't think it's, I don't think it's a particularly effective attack, but I think it's a nice vessel for a discard. Yeah, like it's okay. Yeah. I I don't have many comments about a lot of his stuff. Not the attacks, at least. I, I'm saying, yeah. Moving on. Skull Slam. Uh, three for three, plus two mid, two mid, four. Slam, enhance. If this attack deals damage, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. I have a sneaking suspicion, I've said this before, that this card was just straight four difficulty at one point. And then they looked at Jesse's favorite character, and like, no, 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 no. Let's just bring it to three. Make it a little bit better, and just not let Raiden get free momentum. Raiden would have loved free momentum. That, that, Raiden would have loved this. That's my theory slash joke with this card. I think it's okay. Um, I I don't think it's amazing. It's another one. I think the E is pretty solid, um, but I I think it's another one of those like it's a two mid four. Um, <laughs> it's it's gonna be tough to connect. I I just I, I I'm just not a. I, it's okay. I, I don't think it's like total garbage. I, I think it's okay. I, I just think it's okay though. I don't think it's um it's once again I, it's gonna fight with space for a lot of other things. It might be utility, maybe a one or two of just so you have an extra momentum gen. But I think it's gonna get blocked very easily too. So mm -hmm. I'm a little leery about it. Like I also wish it was four difficulty so I could pick it up with head crush. <laughs> and then play it with Raiden and give it throw. Yeah. Like <laughs> I just like I was working on a Water Gemini Man build, uh, and I was like, ah, everything in the stack is perfect, except I can't pick up Skull Slam with Head Crush. Well, cut from the deck. But that's my, like, it's probably my favorite attack of his. Oh, Lord. I have t said it ever since we started these reviews. <laughs> Raiden gets enough. <laughs> Yep. He's got to do something. He's got to get something to make him top tier for Gen Con this time around. What have you Dude. got for him in this set? Uh, he's got new crap on no, the I'm just gonna state that literally, if I could, if I could, I'm, I'm, I will say this, and I will, I will admit to it perfectly. If uh, if Mark would have admitted to doing a dice roll, I. We did a dice roll, and then he, he, as soon as he picked up the dice to do the dice roll, it's like I can't. I'm drawing. Because Garrett told him to, <laughs> and we drew it. We drew, and we both didn't make top eight. Because he still, the person I played in the final round of the Gen Con thought we were playing for top sixteen. 
Mm. I wanted the dice roll. I got so super bad. confused for a minute. I was like, I don't think okay. I played you a Jed Cut. And I was like, oh, yeah, Mark LeBlanc. Okay. Yeah, yeah LeBlanc. <laughs> yeah. He was playing Paul Bittner, and I played yep. that. I played against that man three times that weekend between teams and singles. I went 0-5 oh. with Vespera and almost topped with Takuma. Good times. Yeah. All right, moving on. Get in. Yeah, balance yeah, fighter. Yeah, balance fighter. Oh. 55, no block. After this card is discarded, draw one card. Uh, response commit before the block step of an attack. Return this. Return it. Its speed to its current speed. Was this the card that had like the 145? Yep. Yes. Four this, card is, uh, this card is super good, though. This um, card is super good. The first ability is purely an in its Skullman vacuum. The second ability is really good, but mm -hmm. it has cost because you commit it. You can play this in the. Uh, you can play with that one move. Head crush. Uh, head you crush. Can you can play this in. You can play this in that one Lilith move. Uh, you can play this in Garrett. For yeah. the discard and draw, like that that ability is insane with a lot of cards. That static is really stupid. The R commit on it's really stupid. Um, it, it's uh, this Does card's it have a block? super no. good. Uh, I don't give a damn if it's got a block. This card's <laughs> super good. Um, it, it's uh, in fact it, it doesn't need a block when I'm discarding it from my hand to draw extra cards. Um, w with the card we're gonna look at next. Um, this is a this card is super good. Um, I. Awesome. I think if you do any sort of effect on your character or in cards that you play, if you're running year 2000X or whatever, 20XX, whatever, um, it, this card's super good. Discard it, both players discard a card, all right, replace myself. All right. It, um, there's, there's like zero discard hate right now, and this is it. Like, you're either Garrett or you're this, you've got this card. That's the only discard hate in the entire game right now. Um, there, so there's... This card's super good and super necessary. Um, yep. It's also pretty good in Omar. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh God! No, oh. man! God damn it! <laughs> Discard this. Pick up my throw it down. Draw an additional card. I hate you guys. <laughs> let's, let's not talk about it. Welcome to my dreams. Welcome to extended, fellas. Uh. Moving on. Yeah, boys. Nine for combat. One for five. Plus two. Enhance. Flip this card. Turn this card face down. Discard a card. Draw two. So with draw this one, card, draw one. Draw one. 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 You draw, draw two one. with the other one. Yeah, no, no, good. it's draw two because you're only pitching this card. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> Okay. Guys, I just this want to throw this out here, and maybe I'm thinking too highly of this card. I think it's four of staple in the symbols period, and you don't yes. no questions asked. I, yeah. I think it's that good, especially um, once uh, into the sunset rotates. Uh, the yeah. one five two mid block on on death and uh, water are gone. Like this card replaces it immediately. I guess I can see that. Maybe I rated this card a little bit lower than I should have. I also, I when I was making these ratings, I had literally just seen the card when I had first put up my numbers. Yeah. So I didn't actually think about it with other stuff, and then just didn't realize, oh hey, I'm losing a lot of my favorite one five soon. Yeah, a lot of one fives rotate very soon. All right, good card draws your cards automatic include. I like his next foundation more though. No, nope, not this one. No I, other I, I, we'll get to the other one, too, because I'm about to, like, speed up that one, too. It's good. Yeah. Plus two low. Enhance commit. Your attack gets plus X damage. X equals the number of cards you have discarded this combat phase. Maximum four. Response to turn this foundation face down or flip. After your opponent draws a card or draws one or more cards due to an effect, look at their hand. Ooh. So this sets up what we were talking about earlier about being able to see your opponent's hand immediately after you use that Skullman ability. That way you know what they got in hand, and that way you can set up your attacks accordingly. On top of that, this also serves as another function of if you got multiples of this out, uh, you get four da four damage really easily with Skullman's ability. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're going to be doing that ability every t time you attack. Yeah, this is a piece to that cog where I think there's just some this big combo deck you can do. 
uh, with him, where you just sit there and sculpt the perfect field uh, by playing poke moves and just sculpting out the perfect cards you want. And then you just go to a kill turn, and we have a bunch of these out, and you're just like, et and sell his combo, and make all my moves huge, and just throw out a bunch of them at you. I think this is a super good card, too. Uh, I, I, uh, this, it's, it's better suited for Skullman because of the discard stuff, uh, but I think there's enough weird stuff out there, too, that involves, like, I'm going to discard a card from my hand for a cost. Um, I'm, I'm doing different things with it. I, I think, especially a Skullman, you're going to get to four, to four damage on it really easily. Um, it's plus two low block, which is cool. It's one of the few three diff foundations where I really think it's going to be worth a spot, um, especially in Skullman. It depends on the character, obviously. That's why I didn't go like all, all balls. I'll go five stars on it. It's three and a half for me, but um, I think it's really good. I, I, it's just tailored to certain characters more than others. Yep. All right, moving on. Reactive style. Uh, two difficulty four plus three high block. Enhance, flip, your opponent discards one momentum. Uh, response after an attack deals damage. Uh, add this card to your momentum. Yay! Yay, amazing. Free momentum. Yeah. Card's amazing. Uh, I, I think Those it's... Those free momentum for uh, riding. It's yep. after an attack deals damage. So if you take damage, like, say maybe you're playing Skull Barrier and you've got one momentum or you've got a couple of these in play and you half block with that Skull Barrier... You take the half damage, and then you add those to momentum, and you just lock their board down with Skull Barrier. Um, the other thing, E-Flip, your opponent discards a momentum. It's easy answers to, to get rid of momentum. It's not unique. Um, it's a 2-4 with a high block. It's one of the few four-check foundations where I'm like, I got to play this. And I, yeah. I'm, I find fewer and fewer reasons to not just automatically run at least a couple, and if you're momentum-driven, I'd run four. Um, yeah. I think this card's super good. This, I think, is going to make Ice Slasher see a lot more play. Like, I've got this deck that I'm theorizing um, that goes, like, move, head crush, uh, pick up Ice Slasher, Ice Slasher, multiple it out. Um, like, that's a shell that I've been working with. Yeah. The other two symbols, I haven't looked on, but I'm sure there's stuff there. Um, giving you momentum for any plethora of things like Blizzard Sword. Yeah, that's what I was really good too. Uh, I like this card. It's probably my favorite card uh, of Skullman stuff. For Chaos, uh, Murakumo? Shh. Stop talking about that card. Mayor Cuomo. <laughs> What's wrong with Murakumo? <laughs> I don't want everyone to know without its awesomeness with Snake Man. Oh, oh wait, I said it. <laughs> and thus, my plan that, is achieved. Like, that card's awesome. People sleep at that card, man. That's Actually, card. one of my players just went to uh, Rochester and bought four copies of Murakumo. Yep. I should. Uh, I don't think the card, like, I may have been underestimating, like, oh, it's going to be like a $20 card. But... <laughs> Uh, that may have been overestimated, but I, I seriously mean, think that card should go up. John, in John went from tw almost 20 of them to 9 in the past two weeks. Yeah. Like, I, I think I, Sean actually came up and at one point it's just like, did you mention Murakumo on your uh, stream one day? I'm like, yes. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Because I literally watched it, like, the day after our stream. I'm like, oh, hey, these are almost gone. Hey, speaking of which, are we on to Snake Man? Is it next? Yes. I no. That's why I'm talking about Murakumo so much. Murakumo right, is a good card. Skull Man. My favorite robot master. I'll, I'll admit, he's, he's grown on me in the past month or two. Snake Man? Uh, oh, Skull Man. Man. No, Got Snake it. Man I've always I've been obsessed with since the second I okay. saw it. While I'm looking at this, Marco wants to know what is everybody's feelings about Air Tiki in a Quick Man deck? I, I, I... It's not as good as a Whopper in a Quick Man deck. <laughs> Fuck this, alright. <laughs> and he's out again. Oh wow, we oh, lost Jesse too. Jesse too. Oh, we can talk about Whoppers all we want now. Yep, I'm Not out. <laughs> I'm here. All right, moving on. I don't even think Whopper shares any symbols with Quick Man. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's the best part. 
<laughs> Mark, come back. We're moving on to Snake Man. Are we done with Whoppers? Yes. Okay, cool. But we're not done with Whoopers. <laughs> I quit, man. All right, we're on to a Snake Man. Oh my god. You have a scat. Uh, Snake Man, six hand size, 27 health, chaos, earth, and life. Uh, enhance your low attacks, get plus one damage for the rest of this turn. Uh, yes, if you've asked Tim Keith, uh, this came out a while ago when we first originally previewed Snake Man. Yes, this does in fact stack every time you play a low attack. So it gets plus one damage, then plus two damage, then plus three damage, then, and so on and so forth. Uh, response once per turn. After your low attack deals damage, add one momentum to your hand. You may add one card from your hand to your momentum. Phallic Man. I was really trying to get around that. But yeah. <laughs> not going to give us Hard Man and Wood Man. At least we got Snake Man. Um, okay, I am going to tell you this now. We have a guy at our store. He does not want to play Snake Man. He just wants a copy of the card. So that way he can write job. out Snake Man and write Black Mabombo on the card. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, I, I do want to give a nod to Marco here real quick because um, I do think this is something that might be worth looking at. Um, if you're into Quick Man, Air Tiki gives your attacks three speed. Cool. Um, uh, good stuff, Marco. I actually do think that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just out on Quick Man. Otherwise, I'd be more enthused. I'm sorry, bro. Um, but uh, swig of water to the combo, man. That's good. Um, I, I think I've having faced um, a lot of Snake Man, I've been practicing against him a lot because I wanted to make sure you know I could hang with the low blocks and stuff. Uh, I don't think Snake Man's very good. Um, and and I, I think... I think part of the problem fundamentally with him is that your opponent knows the moment you set Snake Man down on the table, just hold low blocks. Um, you're not going to be able to hold a million of them, but they can hold a couple, and that's generally and all it takes. That's where you got to play smart and play all different zones with him, and your low attacks are just your finishers. Yes, and the thing I like, and this is where I, I, I had, and the other thought I was thinking with was going life with him with like Shiru Nui no Mai, and you just float that big damage pump out there, and then you clear your card pool, and that pump's still floating, and then you keep swinging, and, and that's kind of where I was at with him. Um, mm -hmm. I, it's, it's, I haven't built it because I'm just not that interested in him honestly, um, but I've seen him played, and I've seen, and it's, and it's fundamental. I mean, it's, it's kind of a lot of his attacks and stuff to get an idea of what they all do and how it all interacts with itself. Um, I, I think he's okay. Um, I don't think he's amazing. I think there's going to be some decks, especially if people don't prepare to block low or have like an answer to the multiple that we'll talk about in a bit. Um, I That's when you get into trouble, but I think as a whole, there's if, if you just try to do mono lows with him, people are going to see it coming a mile away and you're going to be in trouble. I think you have to mix it up a little bit. You don't have to be like, you know, all highs and one low, but you could go like some lows and then maybe a couple of highs or a couple of mids that support the low. Like my idea with him was playing like like play off of life and going like HRK as your opening move and there's like what? I <laughs> held low blocks, bro. Um, that's where you gotta hit him. They gotta you gotta get him expecting lows and then hit him high. That's that's yeah. kind of it's as dumb as it sounds. It's how I approach it is play the low the guy based around lows with a high. I could see playing like a bunch of highs with him to generate momentum and whatnot. And then uh, tossing out the Murakumo at the end. Because Murakumo like, oh, on its own is you, gigantic. Yeah. And then you just go a lot. You're just like, and here's according to your prey and the Murakumo. Good luck. I don't know. If, if, if we find a deck that falls together perfectly, this might be one of the things Giggles is playing. Because yeah. he's been wanting to play Chaos again for a long time. Since he hasn't gotten to play it since he played Chaos Omar for four years. Mm-hmm. By the way, anyone who still hates that deck, I'm sorry. I made it for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to this man's lovely support. Yeah. Uh, corner of Prey. And uh, two for four, plus one mid. Form, reveal one face down momentum. If it is an attack, you may attempt to play it. Ignoring progressive difficulty. Uh, enhance discardable momentum, add one card from your discard pile to your momentum. If your low attack deals damage, add this card to your hand. I... <laughs> For three months, 
I am going to lose so hard to this card with Trib. <laughs> yeah. This, this card's good. Um, I think it's it might be his best card, and it's because I didn't... Oh, man. Um, it's The entire thing is if it's an attack, you may attempt to play it ignoring progressive. So do all your BS. Get all your big, your big pumps going for your low multiple that you're hanging on to. Um, and then play it ignoring progressive at the end of a very long chain. Uh, Mayor Cuomo or something at the end. And you just, just drop Mayor. Mayor Cuomo. And you just drop Mayor Cuomo on him for, you know, 20 or whatever the hell you got it multiple up to. Um, it, it's... It, this card's this card's really good. I, I legitimately think it probably is his best card. Um, I I like this one a lot. I want to uh, play this in Ever Friday. <laughs> I think it's, like oh, set up Earth Clouds. I know. I think um, uh, I think his best card is Keo's jacket. <laughs> that's that's his Mayor first, Cuomo's best card. No, the yeah that no well, jacket's Cuomo. really good in him because it's. It's once again a few one of the few ways to control assets after rotation right now is using jacket and jacket will be like get a moment like hit with the low get a momentum oh respond with jacket get a momentum commit that asset like it has yeah. that play yeah Absolutely. I'm of the belief that once rotation happens and stuff like Necro Driver is gone jacket is going to be one of the best assets like on par with lion stance in my opinion that's some big words I stand uh, by it. On that note, I am purchasing two jackets. All right, let me go buy stuff right now too. Sean, right. Sean's been talking to me. Sean's been talking to me about sales and other stuff. He like messages me right now. It's like, where do all my jackets go? They're only five dollars each right now. We just gotta yeah, be like, sure. I don't know, people. Those might be a ten dollars eventually. I'll race you. Uh, I'm good. I have no, no money. I'm, just, I'm just trolling. I got a few of them, bro. We're good. I was just teasing. I, I have one. Good. Card super good. I I have to see if my friend who left for Japan how many are in his binder. Now that we've now that we've gotten sidetracked by buying stuff in the middle of the show, <laughs> um, are we? <laughs> Let's keep moving. That crawling strike though. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. There's this card. Crawling strike. It's four difficulty three plus one mid four free low four. Done one, your opponent must flip one foundation's additional cost as an attempt to block low blocks for the rest of this turn. I... Th this card is interesting. <laughs> like, it's you very... Set up, you need, like, two of them in the field to do anything really decent, though. Like, if you get to that point where you actually can flip their, like... If you can flip their whole board... Good job, you 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 won the game. But I I don't think you're gonna win with this card. But oh my god, you're gonna mess with some but people. With it's it. an annoying card. Um, I having been on the receiving end of it, it's it's very annoying if they get a couple out early. It, it's more it's more deadly early if you can slow the game down. They're in trouble. Uh, not in trouble, but it makes it a lot tougher for him to get his stuff through. Um, mm -hmm. but if he gets this out early and you just kind of you're kind of I've got like three or four foundations. He plays this like turn two and starts pumping it, and it, and you really it puts you in a tough spot. It, it it's it's not bad early. It's a little less useful later um, because it's not targeted. Your opponent chooses, um, so it doesn't get to angel you. Just be like, all right, hey, cool, unique foundation. Let's flip that boy over. Like um, it makes them choose. So it's it's not quite as good. Um, it's not bad though, and I, I think it's a sexy numbers card. Three low five at least in Snake Man for four. With a plus one mid and stun, that's that's all pretty good numbers. So the the e on it is just nope. kind of a a little icing on that that numbers cake. Uh, yep. I think uh, using this like he has uh, my my favorite card that he has uh, surveyor, which is body of souls 2.0, um, can allow you to just keep recurring these if they keep hitting. So I think that can allow you to play a long game. But the problem is you're like you're focusing so hard on playing this attack over and over again on that deck. Like, if there's something else that comes out to support this kind of strategy, um, I will want to play this a lot more. Yeah. But, as it stands, good numbers. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Yep. Search Snake. Snake. Uh, four difficulty three, no block, four low three. Ally. Hey, look, more ally for Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, multiple two. 
uh, form from the momentum. Uh, <laughs> discard one card. Uh, add this card uh, to your hand. Ugh, sorry, guys. <laughs> add this card to your hand. Enhance this attack deals damage. Add it to your momentum face up during the end phase. This is one of those cards that uh, I like it um, because it allows you to. Uh, it's another thing like uh, well, I was talking about Metal Man. It kind of gives you inevitability, uh, where you can just keep on. It's like, oh, I break down attacks. Oh, here, let me go get this. Yeah. This is his bread and butter staple, most important attack um, out of his support. It's it's really good, and it's and it's it's like you said, man. It's it's you know if this connects, it's going to your it's it, it's going to your momentum. And it's coming um, for you next year. It, it, it's coming for you. Like it's, it, it just sits there and it taunts you. Um, it's very vital that your opponent blocks it. If they can't, they're. It's coming. It's coming back to bite them later. With a yep. snake bite. Uh, I quit. Yeah. yeah. It's, a card. it's a good card. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. I just don't personally like it. Okay. Hater. I know, okay. Be wrong. Some, people, some people didn't like piercing how it start. <laughs> like, I'm sure once I see it in action, I'll enjoy it more, but yeah. just reading it, it just doesn't grab me. I like inevitability cards, so I like this card. Okay, moving to the next one. Snake Slam. Our, one of our very few five difficulty slams. Uh, five difficulty, three, plus one high, three low six, safe slam... Combo, and the combo is low attack. Uh, combo enhance your opponent commits two face down foundations. This is... I, I remember what Tim told me about this card. It's like, they went through their set, and they're like, oh, we don't have combo on any cards. Let's give this common combo. Yep. I don't know. I... It's high damage in draft. Not a lot of commons that are really high damage for drafting. So it has that. It's okay. Shares, it's okay. Um, shares two symbols with Venom Shot. Um, and Venom Shot, I think, might be a better version of this card. It's a little more expensive, but mm -hmm. um, it's not It's not bad. I, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice numbers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I want to talk about it with that word. Moving on. Uh, intelligent and shrewd. Uh, one difficulty five, no block. Dance once per turn, look at your momentum. You may rearrange it. Uh, enhance, destroy one. Enhance, destroy this card, discard one momentum. If the discarded momentum was a foundation, flip one of your opponent's foundations. Um, yeah. This card might be. This card could be good. That's what I'm saying about it. Like, I like the idea that it's, uh, like, especially against certain cards, like, especially like annoying cards that like you can go feed a feed a foundation into your momentum with his ability with him, and then you go blow it up, discard the, the foundation, and then you flip something at target. Like a flip target can be pretty strong. I agree, and and the the only the only thing that scares me a little bit is that the discard of momentum has to be a foundation, um, which I, I means you're gonna have to have some other way to add momentum. I, but his ability, I guess, kind of works in tune with that too. Switching cards in your momentum with cards in your yeah, hand like he has like sur that, so. surveyor. Doesn't um, surveyor let you pet, put a card back? No, no, Surveyor just is straight body assaults. But there, oh, okay. there's some stuff that messes with that, so that could be interesting. Um, I, I gave it a three. I kind of, I probably overrated it because I didn't do the math. I'm like, I was, I just kind of read it as if you discarded a one. I, I, I kind of want to try this in Tim Keefe. That'd be, be that'd be cool. <laughs> like, it's just like it sets up, it sets itself up. Yeah. You're like, it gives I, that, that. Doesn't have a block. That sucks. Like, it's not a four. It's not a four X spam, but it's it, it's a card. It is. Right. A card. I'll be upset to open this in packs. I'll put it that way. Okay. Because it's Moving a rare. Blithering serpent. Two difficulty five, plus three low. Enhance change this attacks attack zone two low. Uh, response destroy this foundation after one of your after 
one of your momentum is discarded due to an opponent's effect, add to hand, playable while committed. Interesting card. Um, I don't know if it's amazing or if it's garbage, but I think it's. I think it might be good. I am um, running this as like a two of in uh, the Snake Man build slowly for the R because we do have momentum hate out there. That is a thing. As limited as it is, it is still there. It's still a thing. I think the other kicker is that in, we've been talking like kind of the problem with Snake Man is trying to do the mono lows. Um, this allows you to pump your not mono lows uh, because once they become low, they get the damage pump that's floating around. Um, mm -hmm. So it it allows you maybe if you got I play that Shirinui no Mai and um, I get a, it would be at plus four so that that Shirinui's coming for eleven because I just made it a, a too low for eleven. Um, yeah. I, so it's that's kind of the in, the interesting interaction on the card is that it makes other attacks lows um, and that floating pump would just carry to those. It's kind of like how Mitsurugi used to be where like Mitsurugi yeah. would float a zone but if you change the zone of an attack it would then pick up the floating damage pump. Um, yeah. That pump's just out there like hey let me attach to something it's you know and it's looking for it so when you change the zone on it it makes it pick up the damage pump that's floating so um, that would allow you to add his floating damage pump to attacks that aren't net, that aren't low so you don't have to get you don't have to have someone just see your deck coming and go, all right, it's mono lows, let me block all this. You can, they throw them a curveball, you put the pump on it. If they run out of lows, you can make your high a low. Um, it, I, it allows you to not be stuck in just mono lows, and that's why I like this card a lot, actually. And like I said, I don't think this is a four of, I think it's like a two of. Uh, it does a bunch of little things that are all useful. Yes. Like Because it's, like, it is two relevant abilities, and it has a low block. A plus three low block, but it is a low block, so that's relevant for the mirror and for other lows that might be seeing play. So, eh, it's good. It's not outstanding, but it's it's something. Unlike another card, Surveyor. Uh, three difficulty, five no block. Four it's a good card. Huh. <laughs> Good card. Oh, you're saying good card. I thought you said you yeah. skipped a card. No. Okay, add one momentum to your hand. Hands commit your low attack gets plus three damage. So body of souls and a low uh low attack pump. I got my favorite okay. card back. I got my favorite card back. I was an asshole with body of souls and with uh heroes uh, uh hero south town. From even farther back in the day, so I'm I'm gonna have to be doing something with this in the future. It might just be making Jack a nine card hand size. Like, so I'm probably gonna be doing with this card for the most for the most part. This card's really good. Um, there's I I've been hating on a lot of the three the three diff foundations. I think this is one of the ones that's necessary. Um, whether it's for the form or for the E, um, your low tech at three damage is really good. Um, the form is really good. I, I think it's worth a spot as a 3-5 non-block. Um, when you think about, like, I, I, I was talking about, like, you, you have a certain amount of space for your three dips and things like that. Um, the 3-5 non-block here is is worth it. Um, I, I think this card's super good. Um, I guess it depends on your deck, but it's going to be three or four copies. Um, that's how Body of Souls was, depending on space, was three or four copies. Yeah. Um, and I think this is no, I think this is no different. Even as a 3-5, I think it's, it's three or four copies. All right, moving on. Uh, unrequited friendship. Yishan support. Yishan support. <laughs> Romance. Uh, no, not from this card. It looks like uh, two difficulty four plus three mid. Enhance commit your low attack gets plus two speed. Response to card one momentum. After your water attack deals damage, add one card that you could normally play from your discard pile to your momentum face up. Your water attack? Yes. Like I said, yeah. Yishan support. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, cards butt. I'm not playing it. Um, I, I just, I, I don't. I, uh, I'm, I'm I honestly out, I'm out like this, this picture because I imagine this is him telling me, we thought, to, I swear to God, you were in this set. <laughs> he me, he was like, no, screw you. I'm out. I don't blame him. <laughs> I'd be out if they made a card that had weird symbols on it that don't match the character support that it's meant for anyway. I'd, I'd be gone too. 
like, hey, or, why does it say water attack when I ha I don't have water? Um, or and I, what and I'd be out. killing us is that Toad Man may possibly be, if we get Toad Man as like prize supporter in the next set, he's going to be one of a mixture of one of these four symbols. I'm going to go with okay. Chaos Life Water. I was going to go Earth Life Water. I would love him to be the exact. I, I hate to say it, like, I, even though it would be kind of cliche to do it, he'd be like kind of the the opposite of Snake Man. He goes low. Like like uh, this guy goes high. Well, like, yeah, he is because uh, uh, well, yeah. he's he's a toad and hop, so everything's high. Yeah. you're high. Like, he's the E plus. Your your high attack skip plus one. Smokes a lot of weed. Snake <laughs> Man's low, like literally they're the opposite of each other, and their cards kind of opposite each other. It could be really funny. Like his card turns your opponent's stuff face down. And then he's gonna have cards that turn your cards face up. Yeah. It would be really funny to think about as a design standpoint. It's just me though. Opposite man. He yeah. also appears uh, credit with Flashman of be appearing on the card, getting uh, your attack uh, demoed, and not being in the deck, not being in the set. Yeah. So like Turbo Man and Toad Man. Are they just sitting there at a bar in Vegas chilling? No, well, <laughs> Flashman. And Flash Flashman Man. has Rain Flush and Time Stopper, and Flashman's in Air Man support, and Toad Man's in Snake Man support. They're gonna, they're gonna be well, the team's promos. Here, here's a team to play with. <laughs> like I know, like, like it, it sucks because the one, the like, they, I like the least they did the odes to Hard Man and Wood Man, but. I hate that they don't trust us being adult enough with those cards. <laughs> that's legit the reason, right? Like that's, that's I, it really is a legit know. reason. Like they like Sean was explaining to me that the, in the design process they had a hard man and it was literally <laughs> Jason was like like it, Tim Tim Keith was like doing somebody gave somebody gave the no we can't do this, they're not you know, adult enough for this game for doing How this. How many phallic objects can I hold up in a camera and just <laughs> Hi guys. I'm not, not, third man. I'm no, a no. That is but, seriously the legit reason we're they, not they, adult they, enough to have a hard man. I think that's or, a great or, or man. Um, that's a great reason. Knowing our play group, knowing our uh, play group, in our group, I believe with our community. There we go. Yeah, I 100 percent agree. Well, we do have members that lose clothing, and one guy going into a onesie if he gets in the tops. Yeah, it's fair. Uh. I had uh, nobody. Does I, I'm uh, the only person here who ever played against Chubb, uh, uh, Chubbs back in the day from the New Jersey team. That man lost his shirt a lot, and that man <laughs> asked Shane about him at some point. We might meet that man this summer at Gen Con since he's got back into the game. I hope that he's returned a little bit. quicker than Gray from Fairy Tale. True. Then there's Sean and a bunch of people that went to like. A PTC years ago in Rochester in their bathrobes. Oh God, the PTC Most I of, ran. Yeah, where all my friends who didn't play UFS just came up to me and like, "What are they doing?" I'm like, "I, I don't know. I don't know." All, all right, right, next promos. No, Doctor Wiley. Oh, Doctor Wiley, right? Uh, Not alphabetical. Well, if that's the case, then we should have done this first because the first card in promos is met. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Kevin's been going this entire time, by the way. Oh, God. Do he's down you? to Quick Slam. Well, he's skipped a few cards, but oh, my God. He's, he's... skipped characters mainly, though. Yeah. All right. Speaking of characters, we have Eric Dr. Wiley. Uh, six hand size, 27 health, death, earth, and evil. Hands commit one foundation. Your attack gets plus one damage for each foundation that has been destroyed this turn. Maximum of five. He also has response once per turn. After you destroy a foundation, add the top card of your deck to your staging area face down. Excellent character. Um, I am very happy with, uh, I, I want to say this. From the Doc Talker stins, the starter deck characters, and these starter deck characters. Mm -hmm. Good job. 
Yeah, they have uh, raised them to where they can be every bit as competitive as everybody else. Yeah. To be fair, I think Star Deck characters have always been really good. The you just tend to forget. I mean, Vespera. Vespera, guys. Yeah. Vincent oh, Gray. I mean, uh, we'll say, I will say this. Since Jasko has taken over the game, I am seeing uh, more and more the Star Deck characters are playable. Yeah. Like, you were lucky. Matt, at some points, where one of the starter deck characters was playable in a box. Well, that's not entirely true. Uh, which one was it that had, like, uh, Ken, Sakura, Akuma, and one other person? Yeah, I was going to say, like, Jesse, do you remember? There was the Sakura, Akuma one. That was it, though. I don't no, know, the, Ken had, the Ken was pretty decent. That Ken was... I thought that Ken was terrible. He had cards that a, were good. Wait, there was a Ken? Yeah. <laughs> he had, uh, I, I, what was it, Sharyu Repler or whatever? Oh right, yes. Yeah, yeah, Charo Repa. That's. I mean, he had a card right, that, that was, was a good, Ken card. A, he had a card that was good, but not a character. Like, By the yeah. way, I miss Sakura, and I promote the idea of us for Legacy doing turning it into Highlander. <laughs> God, then we're banning Sakura. No, nope. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. All right, back to Doctor Wiley. Back to Doctor Wiley. I will say this now to get ourselves back on track with him. Go to Darkstalkers. Go read Matariku. Go put four copies of Matariku in with your, your uh, Wily uh, starter deck. Be very happy. Yeah. I think he's good. I'm actually down a little more on him after having played him some. I, I think I think he's very exciting to read, and I think, uh, for me especially, I was a big fan of All Life is Prey, um, mm -hmm. and I really like Foundation Destruction and Damage Pumps off of that. Mm -hmm. Um He's more about winning little trades. It's like I'm gonna play what you know, shell kick and stuff like that, and pop a foundation, and you know, then respond there. And the the one little secret tech for him, it's not really secret tech, but it's just kind of nice, is that he's a six twenty six, so hyper bomb works out in his favor against most six handers. Um, it, it's in it, the the thing that is really helpful for him is that the way it's worded, after you destroy a foundation, whether it's your own or your opponent's, no. so it doesn't matter if it's no. You, no. Most most of the destruction effects in the game, in the, currently in the game, your opponent chooses, yeah. so you aren't destroying it. Yeah. Uh, like how you, don't it, you, you you can't gain a foundation off of hyper bomb. Yeah, you can because you choose the foundation that's destroyed. You choose, but they destroy it. That is the official ruling. If you go and look at the forums, um, like it's all the cards like that. Then like, Wily you know, actually is even worse than I thought. Like, um, Cap Force is really good with him, because you're choosing all targets and stuff like that. But, but like, I, yeah. That, without, with that ruling, which I didn't really do the math on, but mm -hmm. with that ruling, I, I'm i down on Wily. Um, I, I, I think it's going to take a little too much setup to get going. I think you're going to have some... You're gonna, it's going to be a lot of like trades and stuff and hoping you don't die before you get enough of an advantage in trades for foundations that they don't just kill you first. Um, I think all you need is Matariku. We'll see. I mean, we're gonna, people are going to try to play him. We, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's back to Wiley. Will he be a top eight character? Yes. Will he win tournaments? Probably not. That's that's my play there. All right, moving on. Uh, self destruct, six difficulty, four check, plus three. Uh, mid block, first form, destroy all foundations and assets in both staging areas. Add the top card of your deck to your staging area face down. Your combat phase ends. Love I love this card. I don't. Simple trading. I don't see it. Like, I. The point of why start over and infiltrating were so good before, back in the day, is because you could play like four cards before it, and then blow up the world. This is a, this is gonna be a card in a control deck, like that is your, if you can balance the board and keep keep it in your in your trades all the time. And then if you buy off Earth, that's where the I want to do this off of. And you get like your tribal protectors in your that tribal protectors, the other one, glacial salts in play. Salt. And then you just go, okay, I'm gonna self destruct and I'm up four foundations to year zero. Rebuild late game. I I think 
I, I there's one fundamental thing, and I guess I should just get this out of the way because it's going to go fast in a bunch go, of cards. Go right out. Um, does astute observer just beat Wiley? <laughs> Kind of. Because I kind of think Astute Observer just beats Wiley, and I think if you main a copy or two, you beat Wiley. And I, I, think, I agree. I, and, I, and I think that's a that's a big fundamental problem for him. And I like Wiley a lot. Like, and that's I think it's a cool mechanic. I just and I think it's going to be very hard, and, I, and I'd love to play him on a bigger scale at, like, majors. I'm sorry, I, Jesse. I, at oh, no, it's stuff. fine. Like, I, I, yeah. that's, like, the deck that I've designed where Self-Destruct is going to be a thing is, like, you're gonna be playing a lot of control cards. Like you're gonna be playing the Stake Man Foundation. That's if you just like where you flip cards. A student observer is gonna be your main target half the time. It's like flip your student observers. Yes. So like you gotta get those cards uh, off the uh, flipped over and off the board. At least I, with Earth, this is one way you can get around it. At least with Earth, is you yeah. just go uh, you go heal Persona. Um, yeah. And, and you commit it down, and that's kind of the Earth. That's why I, an Earth build might be more effective. There's cooler tricks in Death. With stuff like uh, like brother figure and things like that, where mm-hmm. you, like you discard foundation, draw you know that you know discard their foundation, gain a foundation, that kind of stuff. Um, but I think in efficiency, you might need something like Earth just to make sure you don't just lose to a Scoot Observer. So that would be my only take on it. I haven't built Earth. I, I built Death and uh, I built Evil. Um, but it's um, it, the Earth one might actually be the most stable because of that. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, man, a student observer just kind of beats this stuff. And I, I, was, well, I was getting really I, bummed. I'm bumming I, myself I, out, guys. I this would be scared good. against if you're playing like if there's gonna be that one person who played Earth or Good and played a student observer and uh, a long journey. If there's somebody who really just wants to hose you hard and be like, oh, I'm playing all these cards because I don't want to be destroyed, be myself blowing up, and you're just like. This card does nothing to me. You're Hizoku. dead to me, self-destruct. Hizoku Prince self-destruct. Get in. Yeah. Card can't be destroyed. Get it. <laughs> I'm just pumping myself out. I was really hyped on Wiley, and I actually had him rated as like a four. And now like the, we're two cards in, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm pumping myself out here. This isn't good. Bring me back up, fellas. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. We're not going to do on this card. Nope. This ain't, these next two we're not doing it for like the next three or four cards. Yeah, we got a few cards to go here. Uh, Skull Fortress, three difficulty, four, plus one high, Dr. Wily only, terrain. While this card is in your staking area, after each player re- after each player's ready phase, that player adds the top card of the deck to their staging area uh, face down. Uh, enhance destroy one face of foundation. I'm sorry? Committed. Oh, committed. Thank you. Uh, enhance destroy one foundation. One face up foundation. Your attack gets plus three damage. This card has zero synergy. Fundamental it's problem. Cool. It, it goes against Wily's ability. What is it? Yeah. What's the point? Why? It oh. is poop. It's poop. They Who's should not? have a. This shouldn't be Doctor Wily only. If this card wasn't was was a just a general terrain, I I could see play with it. It could maybe do something with some people, but it because it, it's Doctor Wily only, it's just like. Ugh. There should be a printing error. And all the starter decks, Dr. Wily starter decks, this card should be replaced with Matariku. <laughs> it's a better terrain for him. It is poop. Moving on. Yep. Right. Teleporting catches. That's one, uh, two. <laughs> one, five. Did we uh, all give all one ones and a point five on this card? We all mutually hate this. This is a, a unanimous one or less. I, uh, I wanted to give this a zero. I almost was like... I'm going to give this a 0.5. That's the lowest I am going to place a card at. If there's, there's a, a plus one mid block, it would be a zero. This card is so bad, I can't even make it. Yeah. Um, All right, but for the sake of posterity, it's 1-5 plus one mid block. It's unique. Enhance reveal one ally attack from your hand. Your opponent reveals one card from their hand. You may choose to have, uh, you may choose to have them discard that card and draw one card. I will read the card. Because there's actually two comments on this card. Oh, it's God. the only card with two comments. Uh, Clint Badger pulls a lot of weight and extended with Kasheri. But that's about it. And no one even plays her anyways. And P.S. Beat you to it, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, reviewing the poop card so that I don't have to. Thanks. <laughs> um, we gave this card um, ones across the board. Well, we got three ones and a point five. Um just in theory, if you were playing the the point of this card, you reveal an ally. Your opponent reveals a card that they get to choose, 
It's not random, and you can choose to have them discard the card and draw a card. They're going to reveal a card they want to get rid of so they can filter it out. Why are you hooking them up with a free psych, a free little mill there? Like, <laughs> there, there's no damn point to this card. What, like, it, it's got a plus one mid block, which is the only reason that I didn't just put a poop emoji for its rating. The only way this work. card, the only way this card, this card could have been one way playable. You choose the card they reveal, or they have one yeah. card in hand. Yeah, like that's it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not. You're not. I'm not gonna play. If I see this card played against me, there better be some good reason. I'm gonna laugh. At them and ask them if they want to concede now. <laughs> I want to find the one person in the world who wants to collect this card, just because it's it's a uh, murderous intent. It's just a crappy one five asset that does nothing relevant. And I'm gonna straight all of them. What? I'm happy for one thing. It is not an, a starter exclusive. It's an uncommon in the set. Yeah. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of those to light on fire and throw out. It's gonna be great. Yeah. No, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna back I'm gonna back sleeve a deck with this. I will trade all my copies of this card for murderous intent. All of them for one murderous intent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next, flying fortress buster. Six difficulty three plus zero high block five five for seven range. If this attack deals damage, your opponent destroys one ready foundation. Enhance destroy one foundation. This attack gets plus two speed. Well, boys, this is the best attack in Wily support. It's the best card in Wily support. I think it's one of the best attacks in the set. Um, um, I'm going. To, I, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and it's like, huge. get some alone time with this card for a minute here. Um, it's he needs it on and around his mouth to quote. Yeah, oh yeah. Flying Fortress Buster. Um, it's a seven high seven essentially. That if it deals damage, you, you destroy a ready foundation. Zero high block on it. Um, it's range, so it combos with a bunch of like the death goodies and stuff. Um, this card's really really good. I like it a lot. Um, I'm finding it that uh, beyond Wily to be a super crazy good card. So um, this this card's going to get played and it's going to get played in a lot of decks. Um, if you guys don't like it, trade me your extra copies because I want like eight of these mugs. These are this is a really good card. All right, we'll talk. <sighs> All right, I, I mean, deal. It's a, the card's good, but I've got other things I plan to be doing and other symbols. Sure, I played that and got the last. So. You have to remember, Giggles is going to want four for every card, so we got to make sure he has them. True. And Giggles, Giggles has an income now. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk shop after this. No, it, it's. Um, I, I, I love know. this card though, guys. I, I, I'm, I know I'm higher than everyone else. I think I gave it like a four and a half, and it was all threes against me. So that's like, I think this card's super good. Like, I just don't see it as a. You're running these symbols. You run this card. I think I, I rated it. I actually would probably rate this higher if it was a starter exclusive and not an ultra rare. Yeah, same here. I availability. Like, if this was in the starter deck, I'd be like, okay, I, I would definitely play this card because I have easy access to it. And now it's like, do I want to go out of my way for this card? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how... We'll see where the, everything falls with it. It might be a thing. <laughs> for me, we're building Wily off death because my friend who's going to run Wily has never... He's only played evil. He is sick to death of playing the evil symbol. He wants to try death, and we are going to be putting hyper bombs in over this. Yeah. Why not run both? We we'll probably are. All I haven't right. decided yet. All right, I'm for go. Hulk's favorite card. What? Hulk's favorite card. Gamma Crush. Gamma Crush. Gamma Crush. Where are my Hulk hands? <laughs> Spent an hour today looking for him. I couldn't find him. They never got unpacked when I moved. All right. This is a good card, too, guys. Did All I right. Kill? Gamma Crush. <laughs> Seven difficulty, three, plus two low block, four low for nine. Ally Punch. The stack gets plus one damage for each destroy, for each foundation that has been destroyed this turn. Hulk gives this card a five out of five. Wood spam all day long. I, I like this card... I think this is actually the best. I like this card. This card could hurt. <laughs> That's what I really gotta say. Like I don't know. I know. I honestly like this better in Sasquatch than I do in Wily. <laughs> Guys, I kind of wanna... do too. Um, this card's really good too, and um, 
it's one of those. It's hard to mix with Flying Fortress Buster because they're both like a seven and a six div. So mm -hmm. unless you're playing like a slower game or something, um, I like this in Satchmo a lot. Um, it, it's it's a good card though, four low nine. Um, but Wiley gives it the speed, but as a whole, you need just. If you have any kind of onboard speed, just in your foundations and stuff like that, you don't even necessarily have to worry about the E on the card. The E on the card is just some extra speed. Um, I recommend this. It, why, uh, Sasquatch is perfect for it. Any Anyone that can put some extra speed on it. Um, Garrett, uh, anyone that can just go, all right, here's some God. speed. Yeah, no. just, let me just put some speed on this boy, hit you for nine. I, um, I, I would feel really scared if, like, you know, I'm playing against a Garrett deck and they go Gamma Crush and they go, like, they picked up a napkin to play it and then they're just, like, pitch napkin to this and they're just, like... That's a nine low for twelve. Let me just throw. Yeah, let me. It, it's it's. This card's really good, man. Uh, I like I like this one a lot. There's there's some stuff. I think and I think it got tested. I don't remember who said it, but this might actually be better outside of Wiley. Yeah. I, I kind of think it is six low ten. Yeah. All right, cool. Get in. And with Tribal Protector, I check a five that passes. Yeah. All right, moving on. Guts Cannon. Four difficulty three check. Plus two mid. Zero mid six. Ally ranged. Combo ally. Combo enhance. Your opponent destroys one ready foundation. Um, you know, again, this goes better in other decks. Uh, Earth Riding. I don't see how this is really I, that great and wily. Uh, evil mature mids. Yeah. It just it's just a big move they have to deal with. Yeah. I don't even hate it in Wily. Like it fits the theme, but it's you have to build your attack line up around comboing off of ally, which means that if you're doing that, then you're you're playing I guess you're gonna lead with Gamma Crush, but you're not playing Flying Fortress. Um, I guess it just depends on how you're approaching the deck. Um, you're either going to go ally or you're not going to go ally. Um, it, it's it, the combo ally really kind of uh, pigeonholes it. I wish it was just, if it was like combo range or something that's a little more traditional would be different. Most of the stuff that's ally though is is very mediocre wily attacks. So it's yeah. yeah, I'm a little down on it just because of the, it, it combos off of ally, which means that you have to play other ally attacks. And I just outside of Gamma Crush, I don't think there's very many good ones. Again, uh, you can head crush off of this in Earth. Yeah. Eh. Eh. We're reaching. <laughs> We're reaching for quite for all this. We're reaching this card. <laughs> all right, uh, an actual good Wily card. Aside from uh, well, low costed. I. I personally think this is Wily's best attack. Okay, so it's five. It's holographic Buster. It's five difficulty three, no block, five mid four, powerful two in range. Enhance destroys one foundation. Your opponent destroys one foundation. This attack gets plus two damage. If this isn't one of the foil cards, that's blasphemy. This card's great. Yeah. I love this. I think this card's solid. I would. This is probably out of. I think this is. Is this my highest rated? I think this is my highest rated of his cards. Yeah, like for me, like this is my. This is the highest rated attack I have for him. Like it's just the best, most playable. Like across across all symbols. And I really like this card. Uh, it's got good all around stats. Uh, in a, it's not a vacuum card. It can go just about anything. It's really good in Death and Evil and Earth, because Earth, you give it the Sasquatch. Uh, you get a powerful, and you get a damage bonus, and you get to eliminate one of their foundations, and you get to tri uh, trigger uh, that one card that can be blown up to keep two things down. Mm -hmm. So for Sasquatch, this is amazing. Uh, just off of all the other symbols, this is just a good card all around. It's okay. I'm less on it than you guys are. Um, it's, um, it's. I like this in Wily more than some other characters. Um, the E destroy foundation is a big cost for two damage. Um, I, I know you destroy. They destroy one of their foundations too. Um, I just don't. I think it's okay. I think it's solid. I it's. I don't think it's. A, it's not a particularly like mean, hard hitting attack. Uh, it's no block. I. It's not. It's not bad. 
I think it's I think it's solid. I don't think it's amazing though. I I don't think it's like oh man, Staple got to run it. I I think it's okay. <laughs> I, Anybody else? We'll see. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, Mecha Dragon Blast. <laughs> so bad. I see a zero and a one. <laughs> Uh, three difficulty, three plus one high block. If I gave it a one, that's because it was a plus one high block. No, you gave it a zero. Oh, that's why. <laughs> You're even better. Um, uh, three high, three ally range. Reveal an ally attack from your hand. Say it gets plus one damage. This is crap. This is honest to god crap. And you know, here's the other thing. I'm a diehard Mega Man fan. This thing here. This was annoying as if I could curse in my house, I would give it the biggest F-bomb possible. I can curse in mine. Let me, wait, 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 here, here we well, go. Well, no, because remember, we, we try to keep it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. I know I muted it just to be just so that you uh, can okay. just read my lips if you're okay, looking at because, a little square. As I was saying, this guy was honestly harder than freaking Alien Wiley. Why this is connected to this, I don't know. This is just, this whole card is crap. I actually think this card's kind of okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one? that hard on it. Like I don't think it's great, but um, if you're I, if if there's some ally Wily deck that I'm missing, um, this would be one of the important pieces of it. Um, yeah. It's a nice little poke, three high three with a good block for three. Um, if you're playing other ally attacks, it's going to get an extra damage on it, and you have Wily's Pump. Um, so it might not be total butt. Um, it could be borderline butt, but I'm not sure. Um, this it, it's okay. Um, I, I don't I don't think I'm going to be running it in a, in a ton of decks, but I don't think it's completely unplayable either. I I just feel the entire ally mechanic was just tossed in at the last second for some reason. And I just don't like any of the cards that go with it. Like, it, it like I, it, it's a descriptive term that they tried to give a theme with <laughs> a sub theme to Wily with. And it just doesn't feel. It feels pushed. I agree with you. It's like, eh. All right, let's move on. We're almost uh, there. Amy colon backslash copy. Uh, four difficulty three, plus three mid block, four mid for three, ally, response from your card pool. After you play this card, it gets stun two, powerful two, or breaker two. I, I thematically think the card is cute. Um, I'll never play it, but it, I, li I love the idea of it. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting, and you hit it right in the head, it's like, a, it is a thematic card that's cool. Yeah. Um, I'm never gonna play it, but it's a cool card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you need to have another stun card, and you, or if you want to play Breaker on it, like, if you want to play this and Team K Dash in like an Evil Breaker deck with your Evil Breaker characters, oh wait, they're both two of the three of them are banned. Never mind. It's ally. If you're going for the theme. Mm. Yeah. I like it. I like it if you're doing ally, but th that's about it. If my breaker characters weren't banned, maybe I'd I'd play it with them. To have this be a breaker three card. Kula. You play with Kula. Yeah. <laughs> totally. I totally play the deck that doesn't kill anything and just stalls. <laughs> that's great. It's a perfect Jack Hill deck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It still is. Oh, God. Jack. I'm gonna hate you if I see Jack play this card now. Like that's I mean, the choice. Still have one member of that team that needs to be banned. So I why kind of like the next one. I like the next. I like this, this next. Uh, one. Pinbot or yeah, Pinbot. 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 Next card. Yeah, this card's pretty neat. Uh, Pinbot attack or Pinbot strike? Excuse me. Uh. Four difficulty three plus one mid block two high five ally and weapon uh, enhance the next time you would you destroy the foundation this enhanced step uh, add the top card of your deck to your staging area face down. Um, I like this in a wily de a wily death aggro deck. Uh, putting it after uh, blizzard sword. 
Very yeah. solid card to put out. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I, I love that it, it's another way to destroy a foundation and replace a foundation and help you know fuel Wiley's damage pump. That's that's about the. Yeah, I, I not that I, I think it's solid. Two i five and good yeah. numbers. I'm, I like it. I think I, it's a good card. I, I, I have I have this in my. There is this earth water hybrid writing deck I got this in where it's like I use I can launch I can just launch my morning losses at any need for at need be like all right plus five damage replace put a fa- give me a face down replacement like but even off death death gets it like you just like play this off death and like you get to launch morning losses and you get to replace it it's not bad yipper all right, all right. Oh god, this card. Moving on. Uh, Cutting Puzzler. Uh, two difficulty, five, no block. Hands commit the stack, it's minus two speed. Hands reveal one ally attack from your hand, your next attack this turn. If your next attack this turn is not a copy of the reveal card, your opponent discards one momentum. Can we, remo- can we make it one difficulty, give it a plus three high block, and then remove that second ability? And just be like, here's a balance, know your objective, done. No, dog, that ain't me. Um, I, this card isn't very good, um, it, in its current state at least. It's, I don't know, it's it's okay. Little do we no, know... No, it's not even okay, it's bad. It's little bad. do we know that there's an ally character in Darkstalkers that makes all these cards insane. Well, we've discussed this. There, We know for a fact that uh, multiple Darkstalker characters have allies. Uh, Donovan's got Anita... Uh, not in the set, though. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, you gotta remember, like, a lot of the characters that actually do have allies, the only one who, de- who has actual allies in the storyline is Felicia, who's still in. Like, everybody I'm excited else... excited to see these spoilers. I want to see what these Darkstalkers cards do. It's good stuff here, sounds like. Uh, I, think I, I, know the, I know the E on Felicia. That's the only thing I remember about her, is the E. Well, Sifu does split into two forms to attack sometimes. Yeah, true. We'll see. But let's move on. Let's get through this. I want to talk about my favorite promo. Although she is mostly a Chinese ghost with infinite hammer space. She's a vampire. Not a Double no. Is she a vampire or a zombie? She's a Chinese <laughs> ghost. He's a zero five spam. But she does the the, the hop thing she like all the vampires she's do. She's a hop. Plus one damage. I don't think she's a hopping vampire, but I think she's a ghost. These nerds. These nerds. Yeah. Uh, zero five spam. Wiley Foundation. Got double crosser. All right, double crosser. Zero five, no block. Enhance, destroy one foundation attack. It's plus one damage. Again, it's spam, but it's crap. I no. think I think it's okay. Um, I think it's spam, and I think it fuels Wiley, and I think it's really nice for Wiley, and the solid I think card it's going to be Wiley nice on. for the next card too, that we'll talk about. Like it turns Wiley on, and I think it's just that extra piece to toss into like a Jack throws deck. Um, yeah. You and these Jack throws, man. <laughs> Letting the cat this- out of the bag for your world's meta, man. <laughs> I already proved I'm a better player with it. Um, but ouch. I don't know. Um it's it's really bad comparing it to it, but it's kinda like regretful existence, but a lot worse. A lot worse. But like I, I see this as a balanced regretful existence. That if you just numbers wise, if giving that plus one will actually give you plus one on the block. Yeah. Sorry, I took so long on this card. That no, seems that's cool. innocuous. Moving along, Jesse, crap. Crap. Okay. Uh, driven by hatred. Uh, three difficulty, five plus three low block. Enhance your enhance commit. Your attack gets plus one damage. Reach foundation. Destroy this turn. Hi, all life is prey. Yeah. They gave they gave plus one difficulty all life is prey. That seems and I think plus one to its block modifier. Um, I think this is really good. Um, it's, yeah, it especially fits Wiley. Um, 
I want to just just caveat, and I'm going to pretend that Astute Observer doesn't exist when I talk about all this stuff, because Astute is kind of, it, it really does, like, I know it sounds like, I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but it really does loom over all of this. Um, it's, it, it really, the Astute Observer really, uh, it, over a lot of these cards, makes a big difference. Um, I, I think, I think this card is really good, and that's why I, I this card in conjunction with Wiley himself and Double Crosser is why I like Double Crosser more. Um, it's just free fuel to blow up foundations. Um, and, and that's why I like Double Crosser, and Driven by Hatred just takes advantage of it. Um, and there's some other characters that can take advantage of this, too. If there's anyone that has a destroy effect, um, if you're playing, a, a, you know, like uh, Last Ditch Gamble, Cat Force kind of thing up death, you know, you could you could take advantage of that, too. So I, I like this one quite a bit. I think it's maybe his best foundation. Um, I, I think it's really good. I think it's going to get use in people that aren't Wily, too. Not like not Wily's not going to be the only guy playing this card. Mm-hmm. Just a minor note. Uh, sorry to bring us back to Double Crosser. Kevin rated yeah. that card higher than all of us at a four out of five, so wow. he definitely agrees with me. Yeah. We can't help that you're both wrong. We'll see. He's got cardboard. We'll I think we have to agree with him. <laughs> His cardboard doesn't exist yet, thus he does not have cardboard. Yeah, I was gonna say. He has you one. Go, he has an asset. Card out of your binder now and show it to me, and I'll agree with him. His, char- his character is th- still technically doesn't exist, nor does his foundation. Neither does the Chilean Nationals guy. Actually, uh, that, that technically, yes. Cat Garden is actually ready for print, to my knowledge. The whale, the whale spirit ghost thing? The, the whale spirit ghost is ready for print, I've been told. Oh, man. All right, moving on. Uh, Genius Architect. Two difficulty, four check, plus three mid. After this foundation is destroyed, add to your hand. I really like this card because this is something that gets to come back to you the moment you play Blow It Up, or the moment you need to sack a card for anything. It just goes right back to your hand, letting you play it again later, or letting you block with it later. I don't like it. I don't either. It, um, and it, but, I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm talking over you. I apologize. It's okay. I just I, that was my word. I, like I don't really like Wiley. I'm I, I I'm really disappointed in Doctor Wiley. That's that's there it is. I've said it. I have. He is becoming more and more like all the support. It, it, they had a great idea. Wiley. They had this great idea with Doctor Wiley, and it everything seems like you wanted to do his thing, and it's just not getting anywhere. I like agree. cute thing you can do with this card. Uh, you can blow it up to double crosser to add it to your hand for a block. Eh. If you're Terry, you can bring it back down and then do it again. <laughs> Shout out to Brett Hillman, by the way. He was uh, gave me some love on Facebook, all that, and uh, wanted me to give him a shout out. So I sprig of water for Brett Hillman. I'm stealing <laughs> Steve Austin's gimmick. I love this. <laughs> uh, oh, Steve Austin, you made too many people angry. That's why you don't have a podcast on the network anymore. Uh, I think the thing with Wiley is he's in that niche where good character, he has good pieces of support, but overall his support does not fit him. I think bits and pieces of it do, but I don't think bits all of it. Bits and pieces of it do. Most definitely like the All Life is Prey card, the Regretful Memories card, mm-hmm. obviously, since there's no hype on it. Uh, Pinball Strike, Holographic Buster... Uh, Gamma Crush, Flying Fortress Buster, those work with them. Uh, but everything else is pretty much crap. And it seems like it goes somewhere else or it's to be used later on. Like, maybe he'll get extra stuff uh, that somehow supports him and goes better with him in Mega Man Set 3. Because maybe Base has something to do with Wily since Wily made him, but that's just a guess. Uh. I think you guys are undervaluing him. He's got a lot of crap cards, but I think oh. there's just going to be an end. <laughs> All right, once again, I reiterate, I hate this card. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently we hated on the card so strongly that it caused my comp to crash. So, apparently this will now be three uh, videos to do this. I do apologize, guys. Uh, we will just move on from here. This card is... But. Still kind of crap. Okay. Moving on. 
Uh, hidden in his shadow. It's one difficulty, four check, no block. Response once per turn. After you destroy a foundation during the enhanced step, your attack gets plus two damage. Good with double crosser. Yeah, that's, I got everyone to change their opinions in between this. Play this with double crosser. Plus three damage. Hey, how is it on this card? I like this one. Uh, it compares to the Victor one that gets free plus two because it's just a free R. It doesn't commit, so I'll yeah. power to it. Good stuff. Yeah, It's something exactly. to look at because it's free damage bump. Exactly. No okay. good. Jack approves. Uh, Master of Masters. Two difficulty, five, plus three mid. Hands discard one momentum, discard one ally from your card pool. Nah. Yeah. They are really pushing this ally thing over this destruction. If they ever get a couple more good allies, this card will be relevant. Otherwise, like right now, it's not. There's just not enough to make it worth it. Like yeah. there's gotta be an ally character down the road. The way that King of Fighters and the Tens and this set has been being designed, there's been a lot of inner block connectivity, which I like a lot that they've been doing. Um, so there's gotta be something down the line that this works with. So. I'll Maybe sit on the card. Right. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Right, so the last, like, two, three cards. Reform Scientist. Uh, one difficulty, five. Plus three, hot. <laughs> response, destroy. After your opponent plays an ability on a non-character card that modifies the difficulty of a card, cancel it, playable, and commit it. Do you hate your friend who plays 4X Team K-Dash and you don't have any because you can't get it? Do you, hate your friend? Do you hate your friends who play Revoke? Do you, you hate friends your friends who play a lot of things? <laughs> yeah. This stops a lot of things. Um, it's it, The biggest thing, obviously, is Breaker. Uh, modifies the difficulty yeah. of a card. Um, so, but it's it's also a nice counter to the how we were rambling uh, previously about Mega Man and his Super Breakers and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. It's a counter to Mega Man. It's a counter to Team K. It's a counter to... It, Breaker's the big one. Um, it's a counter to even the Breaker on Templar. Um, so it's that's the biggest thing. It's a breaker counter, but it's also a one five spam with a high black. So I'm cool with that too. Um, I like this card a lot. It, Super good card. And it randomly catches a bunch of other little abilities. Like it gets it gets revoke. It stops revoke. It yeah. stops yep. a bunch of little attacks that modify difficulty on cards. It it could it, it'll it'll see some play. It'll catch some people. That's what it'll more than anything do. It could be a 1-5 with no, no ability that's got a high block and it'll get played just for the numbers. Yeah. Jack tested, Jack approved. All right. On to the promos. Ooh. They okay. all suck. Promos. Hell yeah. <laughs> They're all butt. Yeah, I wanted some works. They're all butt. <laughs> uh, One no. of them was a lot better until we saw Ring Man. No, the other one's still... I actually think he's still better than Ring Man for that plan. I think he's he makes multiple. This man, okay, he's really. Uh, we'll get to him. I'm gonna. I'll give my rant about him. Uh, it's met. Two difficulty five plus two low ally unique. Enhance discard one card. Change the zone of your mid attack to high. Uh, response. Flip this after your high attack deals damage. Your next range attack gets minus two difficulty. Form, add this card to your card pool face down. Your opponent's next attack, this turn deals no damage. Um, this has a bunch of abilities, which makes it decent just because it does a lot. Um, the changing thing to a high is okay. Um, I like the R a lot because it fixes one of the problems with assets where it's like, yeah, playing an asset, but you don't get a foundation then. Um, yeah. So it allows you to just make a kill turn a lot easier uh, by making something easier, their next card easier to play, and then it flips down for a foundation to yeah. pass something else. The F would have been cool at Gen Con last year. Really cool. Make my opponents Kaplow I know they got in their hands. Uh, deal zero damage. This is just one year too late for this card, for that part. <laughs> I think it's got a lot of abilities, and I don't know if any of them are super amazing. I think the R flip is going to have some limited uses depending on your deck. Um, I like the low block. I think, for the most part, though, I don't know if any of the, abil the abilities are great enough for it to be your asset spot in the deck unless you're running something that's based around ranged attacks. 
Mm. Like, that's I'd, put it, it. I'd put it in the Donovan if I, my Donovan deck looked like it didn't have enough low blocks. Mm. I... I like this card still. I I don't know. I wish the F the F is like I always look at the F and I'm like, hmm. We could. I almost do gave it five stars, bro. I almost gave it five. Yeah. I misread the card. I thought it was an E. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I'll, I'll tell you something funny. I had to go through to think about it because I remember there was a character that did something with F on your opponent's turn, and I'm like. Yeah, the, if Legacy was a thing, Promo Armico would love this card, but it's not, so who cares? <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, there's a Promo Armica that was, instead of playing a reversal, you could play a form ability or form action yeah. instead. Okay. <laughs> I know it's like the actual Mets, not that great. Okay, moving on. Sniper Joe, uh, 7 Antis, 19 Health, Earth, Good Order, after you were dealt damage, ready this character, all block modifiers get plus 2, and Smith, if, if you attempt to block this attack, your block modifier gets minus 5. So I think you don't to block anything unless you really want to be able to attack, not take damage. I, I, I just follow don't... button, make a fart noise. It's the <laughs> I I, 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 I can't take this card seriously. If somebody plays this card against me, I'm like, cool, you you got that block miter fire thing going, and you might be able to pull off some wins, but I'm like, I, I, I just don't but, see this card. Wait, he gets one good block, and then all of his blocks suck. Well, he goes, blocks, takes damage, ready. Blocks takes damage. Like he's got to take damage. But he's got block. 19 life. He's but, yeah. um, he's, if he's he if he was a six hand size 628, I was, would be all over this dude. If he was a 550, I still wouldn't play him. Like he's the guy's horrible. He's total butt. Um, I, I'm 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 out. I think he's really bad. I'm kind of regretting giving him a two because I think he might be a one, and I'm not a hundred percent. I'd rather play Promo Clark. So, okay, I'm lying. I, he's better than Promo Clark, but yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, anybody else have a counter to the, our arguments? <laughs> he has Joe, wow. so he can't be that bad. Joe, I, I was about to ask because Joe gave him a five. And if Joe, gives oh, I only him gave five, him five because he has Joe in the name. He's horrible. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I respect that answer. I do respect that answer. That's all good. Right. That's good stuff. I ain't got anything else to say about this guy. Uh, Yellow Devil. 627, uh, all chaos, life, response commit, after you attack, after you commit one or more foundations to pass a check to play an attack, ready them. Uh, enhance, make a control check of four or greater, your attack gets plus two damage and stun X. X equals the number of foundations in your card pool, playable while committed. I love this man. Geyser. Geyser, geyser, no, geyser. No, not even in a... Okay, I, I am actually... I actually will... I actually... The deck I am playing him in, where I've actually tested him in, I'm not... I actually only play, like, two geysers. Like, I like him with multiples. You're just, like, activate two champions of Southtown, put two foundations into play, and then you're just, like, all my moves are... Like, at the moves in your multiples all can get plus two damage and stun two. And you can just... I'm sorry. I, I think there's one fundamental problem with this guy, and this is why I, I'm not as high as a lot of people. Are yeah. Like this guy is is the man, and they're going crazy. And I, I think he's okay. Um, I think he's very pigeonholed into a very specific deck. Um, the, the same problems I have, and I love Takuma. The very same problems I have with Takuma are what he's going to run into, where you're pigeonholed into like one very, very restricted deck, and you can only play that one deck. And it, like for instance. It's the whole deck's gonna be based around Champion of Southtown, which shares one symbol with it. Um, well, you, you get that and Wolfpack. You get two cards. It, make Wolfpack, it. yeah. So, but Wolfpack doesn't have the other two symbols either. Um, so he's basically an all character. And and the problem is, is that okay? You have Wolfpack. You have um, you have Champion of Southtown. Um, you could play um, lady. Is it Ladies Man with him? Champion of Southtown, Ladies right. Man. That's the Zing Takuma tech. Um, yeah. it, I basically I was gonna I would build him like Zing Takuma. Um, 
It, the only difference is that Takuma could load the card pool up with more attacks and stuff and really get the mad pump. Um, I think he's I think he's solid. Like I don't think he's amazing. I think his R might be might be the secret amazing part of him. Um, it's basically I, that's it's, that's the one thing I see is is like you can get to that if you're playing like the all version with like ladies man and stuff. You're like put a ladies man and put this and you just keep playing moves and they keep writing foundations and putting more foundations in. Like you could just make a play where. You have four foundations that can counter progressive, yep. and you're just whipping both. You whip a giant multiple at them. You're like, all these have stun four and plus two damage. Good luck. Yeah, Ladies Man is um, Ladies Man's a super good card that I rant and raved about on the show for yeah. a long time. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's a good card. Um, I I think I, I he's really kind of. I think he's kind of limited, and I and I, I think he's very. I think he's heavily relegated to. And it, uh, I know you're like, yeah, I only ran two geysers, but it's geyser. I think he's geyser based. Um, it, the multiples after the geyser are really nasty. Um, oh but yeah. I I think as a whole, I think he's more of a geyser deck than he is anything else. Um, which it, it's the same problem. Like I, I'm sure there's a way you can build him with some other stuff that's pretty cool, and I'm gonna look into him because I think he's interesting. Um, I think that R is super cool, and I want to see what like. Does he share symbols with like Cossack or anything like that? All. No, he doesn't. Uh, all. It's all of Cossack. So you, you could do like effects like that. You know how Cossack has those effects where like when you ready a foundation, stuff happens. Mm -hmm. Like do stuff like that where you play off of his when this foundation's ready, do things. Mm -hmm. um, you could take advantage of that with him. But that's like just top of my head. That's the only stuff I can think of outside of just going, all right, Trinity guys. Blah, blah, blah. So. I wish he shared symbols with Suspended Sword. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be, That'd be a perfect card for him. Yep. Um, I I kind of like it with the. I think, like, you could be kind of fun with him with like reversals and like well, like a little like a life kind of mid range deck, where like you can go like block with life certain life foundations and then go like curse splat, and then you're just like okay, and now this is a stun two, and you're gaining two life. You're next card like you can make some plays off of it, but. I don't know. I really got to figure him out. Like, yes, he currently is pigeonholed into this all is being his dominant symbol. But the thing is, all has everything even after rotation for this deck for him to be a deck. And that's what makes him a thing. And I don't think he's bad. I think there's something there. And I, I think the secret is in the R more than the E. Because uh, yeah. you kind of know where the E is going to come from. It's going to be a Champion of Southtown kind of thing. Um, if you don't see Champion of Southtown, you might have some struggles. It might be the struggle bus for you. Um, but I think I think that R is where you can really start doing some nasty stuff, and I want to see him in interactions with Cossack support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was something cute to try. All right. I think we're finally done. Oh my god. Guys, anyone who sat with us for like the last six hours, because you know, we did this six hours straight, no breaks. Um, <laughs> Yeah. If anyone who's had with us for the last six hours, I highly respect you. Um, I know we're going to be putting some timestamps on this, too, to make it easier. Like, if you want to just see a specific character and their support, you can jump to that. Um, and you can also use I, – I, I think the idea of us doing the spreadsheet with the scores is the coolest freaking idea ever. I think it's amazing. Yep. And th I'm, and thanks for having me back, guys. I appreciate it. I can't do it consistently, but – the, the hey, we I got get is great. So we got Doc Stalkers in a few months. And I'll be there. We'll be ready for I, the next one. I I love doing the marathon set reviews. It's been a wild two days of like just sitting here and talking shop. And uh, I'm just, I'm I play more now than I ever did. And uh, it's it's thanks to like local stuff like Marcus Singleton has been the the <laughs> best locally. That dude, me and that dude are just like training partners. We're, we're Ken and Ryu, dude. It's it's good stuff. So. <laughs> Um, I just want to give him some love on the show in hour six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need uh, my training partner, Giggles, to actually come up out here again, but he hasn't been showing up. And I've we been on. Hmm? I said, we need our intern. Yeah. <sighs> he missed his shot to be on this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been on my, I've been on kind of like my reprieve on this from the game, and I'm just kind of like keeping up. I'm just waiting until the next set comes out. Like, I think I just got kind of burned out after just you. playing the same decks every week, and it's like, I really need new cards to add to the card pool and make the game different. We're still live. Oh, I know we <laughs> are. Still live. Um, I, bought a 
I've done a mini beer for every character we've touched, and occasionally when we didn't touch a character. Um, <laughs> so I, it's been a wild ride. Um, I figured it'd, it'd lighten the mood, it'd be my beta blocker. So here's one more to the working men and women out there. <laughs> All right. All right, Joe. Send this home, buddy. Oh, thank God, we're done. Six hours <laughs> nonstop, Mega Man. <laughs> I'm going to be changed, I changed. cartoon after this. Uh, um, no, thank everybody for joining us. Uh, please look for the articles where you can go and select the Robot Master you actually want to look in the review over at totaljusticegaming.blogspot.com. Of course, always go to the Facebook. Like and subscribe to the Facebook. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we are actually going to fix these two videos together. Uh, and then they have one big episode two. I can now do that. Uh, circumstances have allowed me to learn. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we will see everybody next week. We will try and get something together. Uh, oh, I got night. plenty of plans. Huh? I got plenty of plans. All right. All right. Night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Feet on the roof. Uh -huh.